Oh my god, my mic's been on this whole time. <laughs> Has it really? Did I say anything embarrassing? I was just putting my hair up, to be fair. <laughs> I thought I, I I thought I muted myself. Okay, I'm coming in. Come on. <laughs> I thought I was muted. Rude. How rude of me. Hello. We've been hearing crinkling sounds. It was just me brushing my hair. Because it's... Look at this background. I bring you a land... A, what do you call this? A cityscape? I don't know what that's called. I think it's Singapore. <laughs> Dean kept up the... Why is that? Why is Dean's computer lit up? It's kind of spooky. Okay. Hey, guys. Hey, everybody. I've been hearing crinklings. Dean's wallpaper. I think it's Singapore. Because that's the... Oh, fuck me. I just got assaulted by my mic. It's the... What is it called? Melodon? Mel... You know the the airport. The air... Girl. <laughs> then I've got it... <laughs> the hotel I meant. <coughs> Maybe I should just take a sip of my coffee. Okay, we're off to a crack and start, guys. And also, why are my eyes watering? I need a go I need some water. Hang on one second. falling apart live on stream it's finally happened we knew the day was gonna come oh my god i just honestly i couldn't talk for a sec i was doing good this morning too wait now i've got this thing going on i got up i went for a little walk on my oop, my walking pad which i haven't done in forever <laughs> trying to get back into being a normal person that looks totally normal but that's all right because my headphones will cover it kind of <laughs> Um, my first dream, well, sorry, it's been a bit of a wild one. I don't know what's going on, but I, okay. Okay, good morning. <laughs> okay, first off, this microphone needs a bend in it. There you go. Okay, how is everybody? How was your weekend? Oh, and I got a sub. Dan Joe, if you're still here, I just saw you, you subbed 45 minutes ago. Thank you so much. Welcome. I'm sure you didn't expect this, <laughs> but I appreciate it. Good morning. Good morning. Um, yeah, how was everyone's weekend? What did you guys watch? I watched a bunch um, this weekend. A bunch. I just finished watching The Curse. Don't worry, no spoilers, of course. Um, I had to binge it, though, because so many people were putting spoilers online. And f if for people who don't know, the last episode is... I'm not going to say anything about it, but it's... It's pretty wild, and um, so a lot of people were talking about that online, and people were putting stills from it, and just a still of it kind of ruins it. So I look very pale today, but I guess that's <laughs> that is what it is, girlfriend. Um, I watched Scream Six and Killers of Flower Moon. Oh my god, that's a feat! Did you like Killers of Flower Moon? I watched uh, Destroy Our Neighbors. It was wild. Was it good? Oh my god, soft! You saw all of us strangers. I also saw all of us strangers on the weekend. Um, Soft, I know you liked it. <laughs> I already know you liked it, but let me know how much you liked it. Um, it's snowing here. Oh my god! Yeah, I see everyone talking about the snow in America while we're going through a heat wave. Yesterday it was. Let me find out the degree Fahrenheit because I know you, some of you guys do not <laughs> subscribe to the rest of the world's <laughs> system. Uh, so yesterday was thirty eight degrees celsius which is 104 well sorry 100.4 fahrenheit and i walked up the street to go have a drink with a friend and i don't know why i did that because i walked like i was gonna say 2k which i don't even know what this, what is 2k into miles <laughs> we'll figure it out for you guys which is like 1.2 miles and it was the worst idea my i feel like my hair like my um my scalp is burnt <laughs> It was not a good idea. Um, I did like Destroy All Neighbours. Oh, that's good. We didn't get much snow there. I didn't get much snow either. Um, weekend was okay. Watch Julia's Eyes and Dog Soldiers. That is a very interesting... I don't like Dog Soldiers. 
everyone really likes that film though. I feel like everyone has complex feelings about that film. Did Soft say, or am I just totally glancing over Soft? Soft, let us know. Um, I saw Poor Things and it was wild, yes. Emma Stone is really having her her moment. She's got a lot of projects coming out. And now I guess she now she has her own production company. There's a bunch of stuff going on, um, which is exciting. It wasn't so much the heat, it was the humidity. Yeah, it was very humid. Um, it depends on what time of day though, because I would say that it was, we went out for dinner on Saturday night and we walked there because I live in very, like inner city. We walked to dinner and it felt like we were in Singapore or like, you know, somewhere humid. Um, and then when, during the day at like two o'clock when the sun's beaming over, I feel that, let's say it together, dry heat. <laughs> Rubble, know what I mean. I feel like I look crazy today. I need some more blush maybe. Um, Destroy Neighbors was fun, a bit uneven. It gets pretty well by the end. Well, when I looked into the thing is when I do these, like what's coming to VOD, the issue is sometimes I just need some definition. guys. <laughs> the issue is sometimes I, um, I read too much that I don't want to know. So I know a little bit about what kind of happens in that film. I wish I could just, you know how you do a filter? Have you guys seen like the Mr. Beast filter or like, I don't know. There's those filters that basically redo something on a website the Mr. Beast one puts Mr. Beast into every thumbnail. What if I could do a oh, filter? Oh, thank you so much. Luna, I know who that is. Thank you so much, Jesse. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Thanks. Thanks for subbing. For seven months. Um, I wish I could do that for blurbs on websites. So I would just change the blurb completely into something that's very simple, gives you an idea, but doesn't give away anything. Always just lurking. Well, we love it. That's what they say. Luck is at the backbone. But I don't know what's going on with my lighting today, guys. I can't... Um, my Wi-Fi is weird. I can't change it. Oh, no. Now I'm saying I can. Never mind. <laughs> I lied. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Oh, it does work. It was saying it wasn't connected to the Wi-Fi. Oof. It's like a storm. Then that's it. <laughs> I was trying stuff that goes with the music, but I don't know how that works. Is it going with this music? I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes it's easy just to keep it all one color. It seems like it's really light today. I don't know. Okay, anyway. I can just stop talking now. Okay, <laughs> music is a bit loud. Okay, thank you. Thanks for letting me know. I was vibing. I think it was a new track. That's what happens when you go. Is that a bit better? Thank you. Normal amount of chaos. Um, oh, wait. Oh, Soft did say what, what they thought. I liked his film Weekend Better. Wait, but what did you say something else first? Was that just it? And also, hey, John Late. Um, yeah, we watched Jennifer. It was good. It's a very lonely. Well, oh, did you see it all coming? That's my question to you, Soft. I saw part of it coming, but I didn't see it all coming. Do you know what I mean? I saw I saw part of it. I understood what was going to happen, but the way it happened, my God. Um, talking about all of us strangers, so good. Uh, the other thing I do want to talk about you <laughs> with you guys, or kind of like research today um, before we get it. So today, I think we're going to do just chatty for a little bit and then we we'll, might get into some Texas Chainsaw a little bit later. I did want to play, get straight back into Limbo, but I thought we'd um, space it out since it's a good game. <laughs> we can't get it done in just two sessions. We'll uh, finish it on the Thursday night, Friday. Um, I honestly did see it all coming or had suspicions. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you've seen enough movies, you kind of understand what's going on. Did you cry? Um, I did. I shed some tears. I didn't cry, cry until later. I tell Dean basically everything that happens in every movie because he doesn't watch any of them. And I bawled. I just bawled when I was just telling him. I was like, and then this happens and then this happens. And I just started crying. I was like, oh my God, it's so profoundly sad. Um, waiting to watch. Oh, zone of interest. You're waiting for the zone of interest to hit theaters near me. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with zone of interest. 
I heard a couple of people talking about that, but then I think that they just had like festival runs last year. So do you guys, can you guess what I want to look into today with you guys? Can you guess? It's film related. It's horror related. It's horror news related. There you go. I'll give you all that info. What are we going to look in today, guys? Um, except now I'm, I'm in, oh, you're in a country. Oh, okay. You're down south. I didn't know that. Any guesses? Dust. I've never been so burnt out. I haven't been able to watch movies, but I watched Salt Bond on Friday and I was like, what the hell did I watch? I'm so sorry that you've been burnt out. I've been burnt out too. Um, it's just take time and don't put pressure on yourself. I think you, you can't put pressure on yourself. Um, and otherwise you're just going to make it worse. And I don't know if you can take time. I know it's like not accessible for everybody, but if you can take time and just do absolutely nothing, even on your weekend, just do nothing <laughs> and slowly start like re resetting that, I guess. I think a lot of people assume that the holidays are going to be the time to reset. And for me, um, I've really taken that time more in, more so in January because there's so much going on during the holidays. Um, yeah, I'm off tomorrow. So unless I fall asleep, I can stay to the end. Oh my God, that's amazing. New Eli. God, I did not know about that, Des. Um, before we wait for the zone of interest, Perth Festival, what? We have to wait for the zone of interest to play at Perth Festival. When does it play? Rob. Well, someone knows what they're talking about. Joking. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know there was one. Um, yeah, now that I'm thinking about more, it's, yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, I watched Saltburn too, and it was very weird. I think I liked it. Well, I hope you liked it. It's so weird seeing like the pickup for it now because it came out in November, but I guess a lot of people stream now. I wasn't expecting a delayed reaction like that because <laughs> it's getting a big reaction. Um, as is Mean Girls. Did anyone else see Mean Girls? I know Des did, and Des liked it, which is great. I'm glad you liked it. I feel a little bit gaslit, but. <laughs> um, I don't know what when Zone of Interest plays at the festival. I think I, next time. Ooh, okay. Will you let, let me know if you end up going? Because I'll go. Is it going to be that? I love that outdoor cinema. I know you hate it because it's uncomfortable. Maybe we can bring in inserts for the seats. Hello, J. Roo. Um, I watched Mean Girls. I liked it, but I wasn't expecting anything special. I was, I was expecting just a fun time, but there's so much was cut from it that it just didn't make much sense to me. This, there's a weird pipeline journey for the movie that was not a, never a musical to turn into a Broadway musical, then turn back into a movie. And one of the most successful films that have done that is Hairspray. Hairspray, um, obviously was a movie, John Waters film that was not a musical, turned into a musical and then turned into like this kind of strange in between and that really worked and I was hoping it was going to be something like that um how's your Sunday Monday it's Monday here it's Monday here it's good it's always nice waking up and talking to you guys and yeah like I was saying to um Jesse sorry Jesse can I excuse your name <laughs> I was saying to Luda um, that I am trying to trying to slowly get back into things now. A lot of people think that I didn't stop doing any. Oh, wait, I have something to show you guys as well. A lot of people are thinking that I didn't really stop. I, I mean, I didn't stop working. Don't get me wrong. But my brain and my mental health and my, I don't know, everything has kind of stopped for me while I've been going through grieving. I'm going to show you something. It's a little bit sad. But it's kind of, I just, I really, I thought you guys would like it. Um, it sucks in the middle of the night for me. Yeah, I'm sorry, John. It's, it's, it's a hard situation because I need to hit so many different, if I wasn't in this time zone, it would have been so much easier for me to line up with everyone else's time zone. Okay. Hey, charismatic. Hey. Okay. Um, so I met up with a friend, a new friend on the weekend who I met through like a greyhound, kind of through greyhound society, which is, <laughs> that sounds really weird. It's like a, just a greyhound group and um, like a child free thing as well that I'm in. And I don't know her that well. I've met her like three times, but 
I met her with Gromit and like my dog and her dog met, you know, um, uh, she's very nice and, um, God, John, <laughs> not the best fucking comment. Um, and yeah, so we met up and I hadn't seen her since Gromit passed and she got me, she got me something made. Kate, I know you'll appreciate this. a crochet grommet it's got all of his same let me turn the light down so you can actually see it's got all of the same markings as him yeah it was like it was a very like bold choice because you know it can go either way getting someone something like this is like pretty intense um but it's very much appreciated and I have like I know what Kate and Jackie said about having a shrine and so I have a little shrine of his stuff. So now that sits there. But yeah, how? Yeah, I was like this. It's, it was very, I was very taken aback, but so sweet. Um, and very thankful. I love it. I love it. But man, like that is, it is such a risky move. <laughs> like I was like, that was a bold choice. I like barely know her. So, but I love it so much. And it was very thoughtful. Um, so yeah. So now I have that, but I'm going to go put him, I'll put him back up with his shrine after this because, yeah, that's, yes, glad it worked out. It worked out fine, but it is a weird thing because everyone grieves differently and you don't know how people are going to take stuff. It's such a weird situation, isn't it? I don't know. The whole thing is just a lot, a lot. It doesn't seem bad. <laughs> John, you have very strange takes. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Poopy Head. Why am I like, I don't know what's going on here. How's the music? It's got like a breathing sound. I don't know what's going on with my camera. I feel like everything is a little bit off today. Um, that would have been brave enough. I wouldn't have brave enough to give you that. Well, as well, like barely knowing me, but I think she has a greyhound, so it's like a little bit different. And she met Gromit and stuff, so I don't know. I don't know. Um, what else is on my shrine? Um, I have his ashes. Um, we haven't done anything with his ashes. We just have it in like an eco tube, so it's like easy for <laughs> scattering. Um, and we think when we do trips, we might like around our state, we might go and spread some ashes because he used to love coming on trips with us. And um, I have like a little, some portraits that people have painted me of Gromit. Um, I always have like a vase there that's full of like fresh flowers. So I've been like replenishing that um, as I go. Uh, we have a little stone for the garden, like a slab. I don't know what it is. And it's just Gromit and it says our sweet boy. And we're going to keep that just in case if we ever move, we can take something and put it in a garden, like in the garden. It came like we did a package with the ashes for that. Um, but we're gonna, this is the, sorry guys, just getting a little bit sad for a second. Um, we still have his beds around the house and all of his toys. So we're going to donate all of that. So it's, it's really nice having something like this that looks like him to trade off for those toys. Cause I'm like super attached to his toys, which is like so sad to say, Hey ghost. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out how to do that, but I probably want to keep trying not to get sad. <laughs> probably want to keep like one or two of his toys and then we have all these clothes which I'm very attached to so yes I'm glad we got his um his collar uh like cremated that's the right word I was like burnt <laughs> cremated um with his ashes anyway let's we can we can move on we don't have to keep talking about this but um I did want to show you guys that I thought you'd be um super interested in it uh it's good sp yeah Oh yeah, his stuff is still everywhere. So, and his hair is going to be in this house for like, I don't even know how long. Like I, it's all, it's no matter, I've cleaned like six times and it's still everywhere. Um, it's always going to be here. Mm. Hey, GX, how are you going? Um, but today, <laughs> let's, <laughs> swift change. Um, we're going to, I really want to look into this Mia Goth situation with the um I think my camera's high that's what's going on that might be better please I'm a star 
There we go. That's better. I think I filmed. I filmed from this little tripod, and I just switch out my camera, and I think that's what's happened. Okay, that feels better. It's moving slightly by itself, which is funny. We need to look into the Mia Goth situation. I've only heard people talk about it online, just like jokes about it, and I really want to look into what we, what we, what the information is. Um, there is a huge rescue greyhound population in Detroit. Oh, all the gays have them. They're very easy dogs, so yeah. Um, that's not sad at all. I'd be hard to separate his memories and love. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry to hear that, John Late. I dream about Gromit every night, basically. Has it been smoking? Huh? <laughs> Wait, what have I? I think I missed something. I haven't looked in too much, but I saw the headline. Has it been smoking? What's been smoking? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm up for anything. Okay. You guys don't know? She kicked someone in the face on the set of Maxine. And now I believe that this may be a reason. Oh, the camera smoking? Oh, my camera's high? Oh. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. This is a problem when I weed's not legal here in Australia. So I don't get any of the smoking jokes. <laughs> um, okay. I blame that. Oh, a little bit of jazz. So I need to, we need to figure out, so Mia Goth apparently kicked someone in the face on the set of Maxine and it's become a lawyer thing. Yeah, she is married and she has their, their baby. More than that, Kate, she has their baby. Yeah, I always forget about Shia, I, I, okay, Shia LaBeouf obviously is a, is, you know, is a little bit out of his mind. Um, the stuff that has been alleged is awful and it's one of those sucky situations where someone was had such a very twisted I mean I'm talking about him as an artist he's like a twisted and really unique perspective that he was willing to like just do bizarre art he was getting Kanye level to be honest and I'm kind of glad it's full he's fallen off um but I love that movie Honey Boy that he did and I love like he was in um what's the American one do you know what I mean American Honey. <laughs> yeah, that's it. He was in all the Honey movies. Uh, he did Honey Boy, American Honey. I fucking love them. Wait, Mia Goth kicked Shia. No, she didn't kick Shia. Um, yeah, and I just think his career was like the pipeline from him doing Disney to where he was going was so interesting, especially when he did that like performance in the theater. If, do you guys know about that? If you've seen the meme of him uh, sitting in a cinema and he's like laughing. He like put on all of his old movies back to back at a cinema in New York. And it was like a, it was like a, um, the, it was like a performance art piece where he just, um, <laughs> the song lol, <laughs> where he was reacting to them in real time. It's kind of wanky, but I, I don't know. I kind of like that shit um the classic abused disney kid timer yeah and well what happened from and then it came out that a lot of so honey boy okay if you guys honey boy is a movie about a child actor and his relationship with his father and a lot of people like it's meant to be based on him and then a lot of people realized it wasn't like a lot of it is just like kind of made up i don't know it's kind of hard to say that because how would i know but a lot of people are saying that he embellished or just completely changed stuff yeah so I don't know what is the truth anyway is that Shia <laughs> is that Shia okay let's have a look if I can pull this up properly I don't know where that is oh no why am I showing this on screen let's stop showing this on screen uh, there we go <laughs> Where are you? Why did that do that? That's so annoying. Never mind about whatever that was. It's just all my logins. <laughs> okay, so Mia. Okay, we're getting to it, guys. We're getting to it. Okay. Okay, let's hope that this shows up. Mia Goth. Yes. Okay, cool. So Mia Goth, loosely related on his life, but most of it isn't true. Yes. No way, your surname is Wolf. Thanks. I made it up myself. <laughs> Not joking. Okay. Everyone knew my name was Wolf. It's it says that on um 
Rotten Tomatoes. So that's not a secret. That's not a secret, by the way. Nothing there was a secret. It was just annoying <laughs> that it was showing. Okay. Mia Goth. Should we look? Let's just look at news and then we'll find out what's there. Hi. Whoa. <laughs> I was going to read that out. I was so confused by that comment. <laughs> I don't know either. I didn't understand. I actually didn't. Like, my dyslexia was not letting me read it, but I don't know if it was readable. Okay. Here we go. Star's wife. Wait. Kicked in. Wait. Star's wife? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Are they saying that Mia Goth isn't a star? It's the wife of a star? But she's the one in the movie. How do you say that she's... She's a star. Anyone gonna hit it? She's a star. Someone, come on. Please, I'm a star. Thank you. I thought one of you guys would get it. How does that work? Oh, that was my first sip of coffee, by the way. It's so glorious. Um, how is she? But she's the one. The movie is. <laughs> she's the lead in the movie. That doesn't even make any sense. Cassie got it before you. Okay. Or is the extra, or is the extra the wife of a star? I don't know. Should we ch try and figure this out? You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. This is one of my I've had, I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life, and this, this is one of the best. <laughs> this is one of my favorite mugs. By the way, I got this in Japan in the Studio Ghibli store. Isn't it cute? It's got all Studio Ghibli characters. I love it. Those stores are like everything there. Okay. Um, Mia is married to herself. Therefore, she is the wife of the star. The actress of a controversial... The actress wife? Babe, Mia Goth is bigger than Shia LaBeouf at this point. I'm... I'm is she? I don't know. You tell... What do you guys think about that? The actress of... The actress wife of controversial star... I don't know. Is there a way to find like rankings of like how famous people are? Like how much they ping on like Google or something? She's definitely bigger right now anyway. What has he done lately? <laughs> Besides be a fucking freak. <laughs> Sorry. Um, she did, she did all this pregnant too, by the way. She, I think she was in um, Infinity Pool pregnant. I could be wrong. Um, Mia Goth is being, okay, here we go, guys. If you didn't know, queen, the queen has fallen. <laughs> um, all I can think of, is there a star meter or an IMDb? I did not know that. Let's have a look. I've never seen this before. Wait, who's that? <laughs> This just must be like recent things because I know that a lot of people were talking about her this morning on, on the TikTok. I could understand this. What? I don't know. I don't agree with any of this already. <laughs> Why is Timothy all that? Timothy's like a household name. Come on. Let's get over it. This must be people who have like been looked up a lot. She's big in the horror community, but in the U.S. when I, but in the U.S. when I tell people in the horror, but Mia Goth did, what, <laughs> me. You're right, because I'm like trying to think of how people would identify Mia Goth. Yeah, I guess, Suspiria, yeah. Wow, I didn't even, oh yeah, like early. You might be right. I don't want to believe it, but you might be right. She actually hasn't been in that much. And then these are all horror horrors coming up too. Most popular people on IMDb. Okay, so these are the people people are looking at their page, so it doesn't really mean too much, to be honest. But I get what you're saying. Like, there's nothing else you can really pull it. We've got Joey King. Like, Joey King's getting her, like, come back up because of... <laughs> <laughs> everything that's going on um but I don't even know who's number one do you guys recognize this person speed racer 
I know who that was. Did you see that person? That's Alex Mack. <laughs> Where's a hat? How about that? Do you know what I mean? Does anyone? No one knows what I mean. Um, I guess this isn't really my demo, right? Yeah, this is not my demo. He's number one. Oh, he died. Oh, that's sad. Okay, maybe we need to figure out who he is. He's been around for a long time. Okay. There we go. What is the what is the number for? What is what is that number, Andy? What is going on with your <laughs> account? Yeah. Well, that's why I'm saying like it must be people searching that name. Oh no, he died. I think he's French. Oh, he was French. <laughs> Mia God, I hardly know her. <laughs> I love those jokes so much. It's so bad. It's like a running joke with me and my husband because he hate he never he doesn't get how that my brain tingles when I hear those jokes, so I always make them. That was access. Okay, what access code is it for those? Let the class no girly. It said he was German up there. Okay. Someone said he was French. Who knows? Oh, he played, the, I think he, oh, who knows. Work email. Okay. Tell us the website. <laughs> and if you can, include your CC, so the car, the number on the back of your credit card as well. Um, okay. Moving on. Us getting sidetracked. Never heard of it. Okay. Um, a man who was cast, oh, God, this, this article is so poorly written. Okay. I mean, coming from a dyslexic. Uh, Mia Goth is being sued by a movie extra for allegedly kicking him in in the head on purpose. This is what I mean. Absolutely. <laughs> in the head on purpose. A man, this is why Maxine is delayed. 100%. Maybe. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> okay. A man who was cast to play a small part in Maxine filed a battery and wrongful termination lawsuit against the actress and Ty West, the director. Okay. And A24. A and A24. I wonder what provoked her. Everyone just like, she must have a reason. <laughs> um, the background actor who was not named... Claimed things got physical last last year during a late night shoot. Sorry, I'm getting... I can hear myself being really mouthy, so sorry for the clicky. Um, well, I think that I have heard how it happened, so let's see if it covers it in this article. Um, they did not name the person. I'm sure we can find out. Um, what? Enduring ants and mosquitoes. Okay, so then he... In a scene that called for him to wear a robe to be covered in fake blood while lying in the dirt. So obviously he's a, he's a kill. Sorry, spoilers? There's death? There's death in a slasher? Spoiler? So obviously he's a dead body. That, that saying. They were filming a scene that called for him to be in a robe to be covered in fake blood and lying. So he's dead. And playing dead. Yeah, <laughs> it literally says that playing dead for several hours, enduring ants and mosquitoes. They don't give them bug spray? Um, he said, goth was meant to run past him and step over him, look at him and keep running. But she allegedly nearly stepped on him. What? But she allegedly nearly stepped on him. Okay. I think this is like one of the first takes. So she, after she allegedly nearly stepped on him, she was warned to be careful. Oh my God. Um... Sorry, the writing is like so weird. Uh, while shooting the next take, she kicked him intentionally with her boot. He claimed the alleged kick caused serious pain and neck stiffness, but no medical assistance was needed on set. The extra further alleged that Goth later approached, this is the crazy part, guys, later approached him in the bathroom where she taunted and mocked and belittled him. <clears throat> before daring him to do anything about it probably a mistake or drugs this it does suck eric it does suck um 
Yeah, so the man claimed the experience, he experienced headaches and he passed out twice during his drive home and doctors later told him that he had suffered from a concussion. Uh, The actor also claimed that the fake blood had stuck to his body, so peeling off the robe caused pain. He claimed he was fired shortly after the incident and he's seeking $740,000 in damages that's a very interesting number. I'm sure that there's a reason they came to that number. I don't know why they have to bring up Shire. Thoughts, feelings, concerns, my friends. <laughs> Maxine may not happen. I think that's all the information. I can imagine these are just like all um, recycled articles. Uh, or what are, what are we thinking? Shy would give the article exactly oh yeah exactly belly flats I knew that's why but I was just like it's such a like a shitty move um oh 100% it's for the CEO CEO SEO (laughs) it's for the CEO of the SEO yeah it is a random number but I'm sure that there's like the way that they get to that number is yeah the taunting part the, the sad thing about it is because of the characters she's played, I could see her acting out that. If you've seen Infinity Pool, like that, yeah. But I just don't see, yeah. I mean, this is all alleged and we don't know. None of us know. And of course, we all love Mia Goth. So it's, it's a fucking sad day. The kick, yeah. Yeah. I, that's the thing. Even if we, and so, okay, let's speculate and we're openly speculating. Okay. So this is speculation. Even if the kick was accidental and or intentional and didn't cause that much damage, the taunting afterwards is what makes it feel like very evil. I don't know. I don't know. It's just a very weird situation. I agree, the taunting. Yeah, well, because it makes it seem like it's a power play as well. I mean, it's a power play to fucking kick somebody, I'll tell you that much. But it's a power play to be like, oh, what are you going to do about it? You, Yeah, I kicked you. What about it? Um, Which is not, and it's not harboring the right environment for anybody. How long did this happen? Um, I think it said that it was last, in winter last year, I guess it would have been. Wait, let me have a look. It said, um, we did kind of cover it. I'm just trying to think. Oh, I just said claim things got physical last year during a late night shoot. I don't know why I thought, I thought it was cold. (laughs) A late night shoot. I'm assuming they shot in LA. So, um, I'm going to have a quick look at Reddit. I just don't want to pull it up on screen because you just never know with Reddit. I'm so scared of Reddit. Is anyone else petrified of Reddit? Um, what is Mia Goth? I guess I just search and see if something comes up. Mm. Oh, yuck. There's like just lots of like Mia Goth naked stuff. Um, God, no wonder I'm scared of Reddit, guys. There's all these things that are like in the horror section of Reddit saying, um, in the subreddit saying she's so annoying. I hate her. Uh, okay let's have a look at this actually this looks okay um can also confirm that (laughs) well i think that it's mine too as well belly flats i'm not very good reddit is sus i'm on reddit i i am on reddit don't get me wrong and i definitely lurk but i've made a rule i just don't comment anymore um but i'm also scared because people hate me on reddit and i just don't Ah! i saw people saying they wish that they were kicked by oh my god um so people are just talking about how fake blood is seriously sticky um just to point out when an incident happens on set an accident report is immediately filed period maybe the most podunk sets they act shady and avoid it but it's a24 um and no ad with any self-respect would let someone get hurt and immediately not report it well, we don't know. It might have been reported. You're saying that it's not reported? It might have been reported. They never said it didn't get reported. Sounds like BS. Why would she intentionally kick an extra in the head and belittle him in the bathroom? 
Well, we don't know. The whole story sounds fishy to me. I guess people really want to believe her. I mean, she hasn't said that she didn't do it as well. So people are uh, alleging she didn't do it without even hearing her talk about it. Uh, I saw people, sorry, I already read that. My first impression is it's a disgruntled employee because he was fired. I wonder why he was fired though. Uh, I'm also, I all, I'm also looking for fan in places, but I hate looking up your faves on Reddit while I'm, while I'm looking for a cool subreddit for interviews, news, etc. It's always a bunch of, yeah, exactly. I know what you mean. Her lawyer probably told her to stay quiet, but that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of people like she didn't do it, but she hasn't even said she didn't do it. So maybe we wait to see if she has an opinion on it first. You know what I mean? Um, or like, obviously it has to go to court, but. It just doesn't make much sense for people to be standing some kind of ground for her or speaking for her when she hasn't even, she might come straight out and say, yeah, I did it. <laughs> and like, then what is everyone else going to say? Um, there you go. I love her acting, but when I found out that she's dating Shia, I kind of raised my eyebrows. Yeah. Oof. There you go. There you go. So there's some some other horror news. A rough Monday, guys. Um, I would like to hear all sides. Yes. Imagine if the roles were reversed. I don't know why that's what I think. Yeah. I also just think it's like we don't know. You don't know anyone. That's the unfortunate thing about how the world works. It's kind of the fortunate thing as well. <laughs> we really don't know. And... Uh, if it happened, I'm sure there's a there's some kind of story there. There's something going on there. And yeah, I don't know. I just more so I really hope that obviously the person who was in the situation is okay. But I also really hope that they, uh, A24 takes it seriously and like an investigation kind of has to happen when these kinds of things are alleged just to give us all like as well the peace of mind and anyone and the crew and actors that uh in future events that it's not a a whole scandal to speak up if if you need to be heard because this is incidents like this however it goes can be really tricky because it can stop other people from speaking up so yeah i would be upset if maxine yeah it might i don't know uh, why girly we already lost Scream, which obviously was all of the production's fucking doing. It's so bad. I am I think it's so funny now that um, Melissa just went on to did another film with, with Universal um, for, you know, for Abigail. It's just so crazy. Obviously, they had already filmed, but um, I just think it's so crazy. She's going to be one of the biggest stars in horror anyway, so... Um, I think Scream has to be dead in the water for sure. I also saw that they, um, I just saw a headline that they confirmed replacing the director for the Exorcist trilogy, but everyone already knew that was going to happen. They had already lined that up to happen before the film even came out. Um, she has two months out this year, or two films, do you mean? Um, she has a couple, yeah, a couple of horrors for sure. I'm ready for Scream to be done. Need more ballet horror. <laughs> Similar thing happened to John Mayers. Majors, sorry. He's in some, he's got some films in limbo now. Harrison Fawn hit Ryan Gosling during filming. It wasn't big news. Did he sue him? I, I really like Ryan Gosling now. <laughs> After the Barbie thing. Poopy head if you're there. <laughs> I really like it. Oh, I like it. Um, yeah, the Ford Gosling thing, Blade Runner. They both laughed about the accident. Oh, it's an accident. David Gordon Green has a bunch of TV shows. Yeah, people, it was, I remember being in the theatre and we were talking about how that was going to go that way. Harrison got afraid of a suit, but he bought him whiskey instead. I don't know, it doesn't sound very serious then. <laughs> Not to speak for him, but it doesn't sound very serious if he bought him whiskey because it was an accident, it sounds like. I don't know. I don't know. Wild times.
yeah, there's not much else I've been that's been going on around horror except for that. And then, yeah, David Gordon Green being replaced. Well, not replaced, but I don't know if they've found anyone else to do The Exorcist. I just don't know how it's going to go. That's my thing. I have no idea. It's such a weird one. It's a total accident. Oh, there you go. I don't, yeah. I mean, an accident's an accident. And as long as everyone's okay, that's that's all that matters. And if they can talk about it. If they're talking about it in interviews, they, literally these interviews, the way that they do them is they give you topics. You can only talk about those certain, certain topics. And if they have a story like that, it's like late night into like shows when they bring up a random story. It's not... It's all pre-organized. We're going to talk about this one aspect. We're going to, I'm going to bring up this one thing. So if they're easy enough to talk about it in an interview like that, it should be fine. But yeah, incidents happen all the time. You know what I mean? It's like a normal workplace. My um, husband works in uh, like workers comp. So he deals with uh, workplace injuries and stuff like that. And I like those are very serious injuries as well. So I get, like, with the amount of stuff he's scared of, like, he refuses for us to go skiing and stuff because he sees so much injuries in different places and different fields. Um, I could imagine, you know, films where the logistics are, you have to do something wild and make it work so it looks good on camera. There's a lot of things that can go wrong. Um, Exorcist to Deceiver could be up, could end up being, wait, end up, bad depending on things well I'm not too worried about that at all because everyone hates the exorcist anyway so <laughs> everyone hates it uh that's the weird thing about um mean girls I felt because I think people are gonna assume well people assume that I didn't like it because I don't like remakes but I liked the exorcist <laughs> so yeah, that's yeah I, I liked The Exorcist, so I think that people don't really have anything to complain about because they've already complained about everything. There's nothing left to be said that people haven't already said about The Exorcist, do you know what I mean? So all bets are kind of off. <laughs> uh, I liked it. What did you think? I didn't like Mean Girls. I did a Patreon come with me, but it didn't work for me. I used to cross-country ski, ski but never downhill. It's not generally a good idea to put me on two sticks and send me down a mountain I've always wanted to ski it's on my bucket list I want to ski so bad I want to learn how to ski but my husband will not <laughs> I'm like let's just go to a lodge and you can just sit there drink your you know cocoa let me ski let me ski I think I'd be good at it um I'm so surprised I liked me I don't know you know when I got there the PR lady was like I'm surprised you're here I'm I People think I'm like some one-dimensional being that was must watch horror only horror. I was like, man, when she figures out I'm a Swifty, her brain is going to explode. Um, I don't get not having solid ground underneath me. Uh, yes, I'd like to hang out in the lodge. Yeah. Oh, guys, we're on the countdown, the Swifty countdown too. I got a... The music has gone like so low, hey? I feel like I'm alone here. Um... Oh, there we go. That did it by itself. I got, oh, I should show you guys. Basically, I found a, a pillowcase that is the lavender haze, uh, like, outfit kind of thing. I don't know. I'll show you. I, ha I mean, I can go get it up from, from upstairs. Maybe I should go do that. But basically, I found something that looks like this. <laughs> but it's a pillowcase. And for some of you guys know, I've been trying to sew, like I've been learning how to sew and I'm like, I really need to figure out how to turn this into, I don't have that much fabric, but um, even if I turned it into like a vest, oh, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Um, like a, a fluffy vest. Oh my God. Can I spell? Like this. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty lame. <laughs> I need to figure out something to do with it or like a cropped jacket I'm gonna wear a pillowcase well I'm gonna try and sew it into something and if it turns out bad that's fine it only cost me a couple of dollars but it looks so much um it looks so similar and I can't believe I found it at a op shop so 
I just got to improve my sewing skills before then. Like something small like that would be perfect. I know you can't really see. Sorry, it's on the wrong side. But like that. I don't know. Yeah. And then it's also summer. So it's going to be hot as fuck. So it's like, do I really want that? I don't know. I just don't know what to wear. I have a shirt. Just a Taylor Swift shirt that I was thinking about wearing. But I just don't know. I don't know if I'll regret not like... I don't know. I'm just going by myself though. It's not like I'm even going to get photos. So I'm down for drinks in the ski lodge instead. <laughs> you guys hate skiing. It's super cute. Do it. If I can figure out how to do it, that's the thing. Yeah. There's so much to do before then. Do you know when you just like start a hobby and you want to be good at it, but you've got to put the work in? That's where I am. That's where I'm at right now. I need to get it together. I hate putting work in. Well, you're probably good soft at like a lot of home, not reno, but like decor. You know, where you start it, you're like, oh, I just want to be good at this. I'm just not good at it. I'm not good at it. Well, how can I be good at sewing when I can't even cut a straight line for like a Christmas present? Like I can't wrap presents. I can't cut the wrapping paper straight. How am I meant to sew? I have no patience. Yeah, me either. Sucking at something at first is a step towards being kind of good at something. Uh, I don't know. I have the same problem with wrapping presents. Practice makes perfect. Yeah, well, that's why I'm trying to practice. But it takes so much effort. I started playing Roller Coaster Tycoon again as well. And I was playing that. Do you want to play that today? <laughs> if I could coax you guys into letting me play that. Um... Oh my god, that would be the day. That would be the day you said goodbye. I love Roller Coaster Tycoon. It's a classic one. So it's like, sometimes I get so frustrated, I just exit out of stuff because you can't even move around the board like efficiently. So it's annoying. Like I delete, I like start drowning people by accident because I'm like deleting the wrong like pavement. Um, I'm, I'll show you, wait, I'll see if I can show you guys. Cause the funny thing is they don't have it on Mac the way I want to play it because I like the, it's the classic one. Okay. So th this might be jarring to anyone who's like Gen, Gen Z in here, <laughs> but, um, basically how it works is I have to, I downloaded it, but it's for your iPad. <laughs> um, it's an iPad app that I play on my computer. So do you guys, I'll see if I can figure this out. An accident? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Wait, I'll see if I can figure out how to show you guys. Um, I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh my God, the raid, thank you so much. Should we do a shout out? Hello, thank you so much. I wish I could say your name. I'm trying to figure out how to do the shout out. <laughs> Let's see if that worked. Yay, that worked. Thank you so much. What were you doing? You were just chatting. I need to check out your channel. Hang on, sorry. We were about to do something. Oh my God, I haven't even got my camera up and I'm like, hey guys. <laughs> that was such a funny raid. <laughs> I just realized it was just a blank screen. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'm just looking at your channel now. Ferrets are, so, are cute. Oh my God, do you have ferrets? Oh my God, you look like a, you're a very cozy streamer. Oh, you're Australian. Oh my God, my accent comes out when I say that. You're Australian. You're over East somewhere, obviously. I'm in Western Australia. Thank you so much. Welcome. Hi guys. This must be very random for you, but hi, I am Emma. If you're still here, I'm Emma. And I'm a full-time content creator. Um, <laughs> I'm a horror YouTuber. I do lots of recommendations and I talk about horror movies, anything dark and disturbing. I'm your girl. I give a lot of recommendations and keep it spoiler free. Thank you so much for following Retro Rocket. Um, and, oh, I think we've got another one as well. Gwen? Gwen Tendo? Is that how I say your name? I, I totally miss that. Thank you so much. Um, and... The Woman Bob Riggs. I don't know if I'll take that title, but sure. <laughs> the Woman Bob Riggs. <laughs> that was 
is so chronically American. I can't. Um, I'm Australian. My audience is primarily American and, but we talk about, we just, we're just chill people who like horror movies and we don't hate on each other. It's like a very positive community, even though I just laughed at someone. <laughs> it's a very positive community. We like to be silly little gooses and share movies we like. Um, I'm a classic channel lurker. Oh, well, so nice to meet you. I don't know how to say your name, but it's very cool you're Australian. Oh, I see your ferrets. Ferrets, I think, are, um, are illegal in Western Australia. Am I right about that? I could be wrong, but I think I'm right. You're always on my mind. <laughs> I'm sorry. What the fuck? Um, what movie is that from? When did they sing that? Do you guys know? Someone? You're always... No! It's it's part of like a twist in a horror movie. Someone. Oh, Practical Magic. Thank you so much. <laughs> you get me. I was like, why am I singing this? <laughs> Someone left it on the porch. Someone left it on the porch. Yes, yes. Thank you. Oh my God. We're the same. We're the same. I have this thing where I meet someone. I'm like, BFF. <laughs> and you're my new BFF. Uh, I was thinking about in the movie. If you guys have seen Practical Magic, it's like very important to the storyline. I was like, where is that from? Um, Sefi Follows is going to be good in my books. What does that mean? We accept. That's it. I'm Australian with an American accent. What? You're an uh, you're an American living in Australia. How does that work? Um, thank you, thank you. Love, support those Aussies. Close, they're illegal in Queensland. Okay, sorry, I'm scrolling back now. We accept a one of us. Um, about Practical Magic, I watched it this October and met a witch and she said it was she was raised like the movie. I think that's a lie, but I'll take it. <laughs> Not on your part, on their part. Because that's, it's so romanticized. I have an American family and they taught me how to speak. Oh, I actually knew someone. I went to school with, like, I went to film school with someone who had, a, like, a very, like, more Canadian accent. And one time they were talking about something. And then I realized they were, they were British. And they grew up watching American and Canadian TV shows. And so they adopted the the their accent from that. And I thought that was the weirdest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. And they said they couldn't explain it and no one in their family understands it either. Don't you think that's wild? Um, all right. Oh, are you leaving? Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, no problem. Thank you so much. That was very sweet of you. Thanks for the raid. Girly Pops. have a good um evening i mean yours makes more sense if you're raised by people it's not like watching tv because surely he still spoke to his family and everyone around him we accept no one what were we doing guys we we're trying to <laughs> we we're trying to figure out how to do roller coaster tycoon okay let's try this again i must have been where why have i got my webcam off there we go hi let's see if we can figure this out a steam game let's turn that off Let's go window capture, application capture? No, window capture. Um. <laughs> Let's see if this works, guys. You ready? Bam! <laughs> it tries to work. Um, wait, where am I? Where am I? What year is, who, I did, did I click into this? Quit. Wait, what, what land is this? Hang on. I thought I stopped playing this last night. Okay. <laughs> this is a hard one, guys. It's still on the same year, so I can't be doing anything wrong. This objective is a hard one. It's like, do I want to save it or not? Because then I can't... I guess I can redo it if I need to. Fuck. I did start off good. I think I got frustrated and closed... People like, oh, people are liking it though, guys. <laughs> people are loving this. 
Um, what year is this? Were you in Jumanji? What? Oh, by the way, I added on PlayStation. I know I saw something randomly um, from you yesterday. And I was like, wait, okay, I'll figure that out when I get to it. Oh, I, I okay. I rage quit because I couldn't make this roller coaster work. I guess we can try and make this roller coaster work and then we can see if you guys like playing. I usually just play on my laptop, not when I'm like hooked into my computer setting because it's easier to use the trackpad, which is like the saddest thing that I've ever heard in my life. Um, so this is going to be weird. <laughs> there is the roller coaster killing people? Um, no, it's not open. Oh no, it's frozen. Oh wait. Oh no. This is what I was worried about happening. No. You didn't freeze, did you? Yes, you did. <laughs> it's frozen! Let's see if we can reopen it. It happens sometimes, you know. Okay. Because it's an app, you can just reopen it, which doesn't seem right, but it is. Okay, wait. I'm trying to figure out how to make this look presentable on screen, but it's not letting me... Oh, shit. <laughs> I can't explain how classic view this is. Okay. Who's going? Oh, bye. Bye, Luna. Thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging out. I'm trying to make this roller coaster work. We can just, let's just get this roller coaster working. Basically, the idea of this park is, oh, by the way, pause. Um, the idea of this park is uh, you can't move any of the trees and you also can't let any of the rides get above tree line, like the, what do you call it? The tree length, tree, something about trees. <laughs> do you know what I mean? The tree height. I'm sure there's a more scientific name. So I'm trying to make this roller coaster fucking work, right? How? How now, brown cow? Because I can't, there's so many trees. Got to dip. Thank you so much. Sorry, I know I, I normally don't play this. I swear to God. Thank you so much for coming by. Canopy? That sounds very technical. Um, so I'm trying to make this work. I promise we won't play for long. Let's just get this thing. See? There's a tree in the way. There's a pine tree in the way, dear Liza, dear Liza. Gotta make this on the right side of the screen. I love these old games. I, I find them so relaxing. Um, so I watched the whole of The Curse while playing this on the weekend. Um, and if you don't know, there's like a whole thing you have to do for excitement rating and stuff. <laughs> I feel like such a nerd, oh my god. Um... Maybe we just make it a huge roller coaster and we go around every single tree in the park. You can't delete the trees. It's like one of the reasons they let me use this land. The mayor said, no girly. Let's try though. Sorry, I have a mirror in my way. Instead of just moving it, I'm trying to like look around it. Oh, it's about to rain. You know what that means, guys. My money's gonna go up. Why? Because girly... I know to set my um set my price for an umbrella to eighteen dollars. Yes, umbrellas, everyone knows. <laughs> the the old that old chestnut make everyone pay crazy inflation for an umbrella to fund my life. Okay. So this roller coaster is looking shit. It's just shit. Cause there's no momentum if I go just that way. I just don't know what to do, guys. And if you don't know, there's like an excitement rating sitch with uh, roller coasters. So if you interact with a lot of other scenery and paths, it makes the excitement for your ride higher. Because it's an exciting thing to do. You know, like when you're at a park and you see uh, like a good, um, a good example is the Tron ride in Disney in Florida like you see the ride come outside and go around the crowd and you're like I want to go on that can you make it as large as you want uh yeah I mean it's money you can't make it tall but you can make it as you can do whatever you want you know what I mean but 
I mean, ooh, I'm not, I'm not made of money, Ian. Wait, shit. I'm gonna put some chains in there. I wish I could put, um, I think I probably just t took the wrong type of coaster. Because what I really need, you know what? What we need is a coaster that we can uh, put boosters on. <laughs> this is so, this is so embarrassing. Why are you guys letting me do this? <laughs> After all the umbrella. Do, are people still here? That's my question. Yeah, a bunch of you dropped off. Yeah, I see you. There's this one and they put a vertical coaster here just to taunt me. Um, heart rate. <laughs> Why did I not get that? I didn't hear that. Um, that alert. Oh, it came in for a second. I think it might be like playing with my, um, did you guys hear the alert? I didn't hear it. I think it might be because of this game. It's like fucking with me. Okay. I didn't hear it. Yeah. It might be the game. I heard something go Meh. I'm gonna step into my heart rate monitor today. <laughs> this is not a good idea. <laughs> okay. Did I, is it on? No. Of course it's not on, I need to figure that out. Guys, I'm letting precious time escape me. We heard, yeah, that was weird, hey. Sometimes alerts have time. So if there is any alerts that come up, I missed a follow before, so I wonder if that's the reason for that as well. If anyone, everyone remind me if we don't, if you see something that I don't see. If you see something, say something, you know what I mean? It should come on. Connected, there we go. It's higher than when I play Alien Isolation, for sure. Oh, by the way, I got roasted in a comment the other day. Someone was like, watching you is insufferable <laughs> um, for my VODs. And then I was like, I'm sorry, I'm so insufferable. They're like, no, 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 you're not. <laughs> I was like, people backpedal so quick. And I know you're probably watching this, the person who did that. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to build. I've got to do custom. Um, I've got to do it all customized because, girly... Wait, why? How did I do this last time? I think I was stunning here. I've got to do it all customized because otherwise I can't f fit it on the hill. Okay. Does this one have a booster? I can't see a booster. Girly, there's no booster. Let's see if we can get a like a. I am. <laughs> yeah, it was just someone said that watching me play, which is, it, it, I get what they're saying. Watching me play um, D&D. D&D? Dead Before Daylight? I don't know what I'm talking about. DD is, was insufferable because I didn't know what I'm doing. It's like watching me, um, watching someone play Texas Chainsaw for the first time and saying it's boring. I'm like, Girl, have you been watching? <laughs> I say that about every game. <laughs> I say that about every game. Okay? Don't take it personally. I don't even like Alien, Alien Isolation. Everyone loves Soma. Everyone says it's like the best game ever. Don't take I would not take it personally if I don't like. <laughs> I am not the judge. I'm def like, I am not the be all end all. I'm not the be all end all with movies, let alone games. Are you for real? I feel like there's a tree coming in the way. Let's get out of the way. See, this is so annoying. Um, you, we weren't wrong. Thank you. DBD, thank you. And I know people are annoyed because everyone's like, oh, you're not doing it right. I'm like, and then she was saying, oh, it's, it's the same as, or she said it's the same as like not knowing any loadouts and I'm playing the, um, Texas Chainsaw. I didn't know that there were loadouts for ages in Texas. I didn't, I didn't understand that. I still don't fucking understand any of it. And then she said, or going into the base, never getting out of the basement and saying it's boring. Um, most of the games I play as a victim, I don't get out of the basement. <laughs> but my heart rate is still 
like 150, okay? Challenge me this, guys. Will we ever find a game where my heart rate isn't, is as high as it is when I play Texas Chainsaw? Maybe this game. Maybe me right now. <laughs> Do you, guys, that, uh, that picture that Rob put up, that's Dean's, that's Dean's, like, emotive, what do you call it? <laughs> that's so random. <laughs> okay, um, we'll see if, I don't think it's going to go that high. I'm trying to give it little dips so it goes down. This is just going to give people nausea, and I mean that, actually. Like, I'm not trying to be funny. That's actually a thing that can happen. I don't know why I keep trying to put trains, chains on stuff. This is just going to be the most boring coaster. Let's see if we can get an S. Okay. I wish I could put a corkscrew in here. But I can't. Because of these fucking trees. Wow. Much excitement, guys. <laughs> this is the boringest roller coaster ever. The thing is with these games, I don't care. Like, I find it, it's more relaxing. So I'll play this for two hours. And if I don't meet my objective, which you can see objective here. If you, if I don't meet it, sorry, it's in the way. If I don't meet it, I'll just delete the game. <laughs> and then like restart it. I don't care. Like, it's just for the fun of it. But if you do get it, then all of the pe little tiny people go like this. And they release their balloons. And honestly, I bow every time. It's kind of embarrassing. I'll sit there, like, my hair, like, crazy on the couch. Playing like this. And then I'll be like... <laughs> um, I was scared for you when it got that high. <laughs> what? <laughs> the roller coaster? Um, I have this in case you ever get back. What does it say? Hugs. Cute. Uh, yeah, we need, uh, I don't know. It's you guys who are telling me not to do it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to blame it on you guys. I don't know how I feel about it. A going back to alien isolation. What do you guys think? How, how, okay, you guys can guess how low you think the score is going to be for this coaster. It's going to be very low, I'm just telling you right now. Um, now we can do some tests because we have an entrance and an exit. Whoop. I'm trying to move my webcam, but it's not working for me. Okay, we're going to do some tests. Let's see if it even gets up this little hill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Girl, 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 girl. Oh, yeah. It's so boring. I could put a camera. I should put a photo thing on. Wait a minute, I have an idea. I need to put a photo thing on here. If I put an on-ride photo, can I get that? Yes. That pumps up the excitement because people love getting photos of themselves. <laughs> uh, make alien isolation a return, return or reward for goal. Huh? I make alien isolation return a reward for a goal. Oh, I see what you're saying. We play it. Does anyone want to see that? Gaslight. Who gaslighted me? We need to, I need to do some, the subathon, guys. I just need to put time aside for it. And everyone knows, January is like a little bit intense to do that kind of stuff. Okay, we need for it to go around twice for us to see. Oh, there you go. You're about to you get as nauseated as you do excited. <laughs> Which is not great. Okay, but that's okay. People love this kind of shit. This is a roller coaster for people who don't like roller coasters. That's how I'm going to sell it to the to the greater population. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fucking kill these trees. <laughs> these trees are ruining my life. Um, that's all right. I can work around it. I'll just go all the way around you. So we're just doing the entrance. So yeah, this is, this is what I do when I chill, guys. <laughs> but I don't do it like this. I literally just sit on the couch. Um... Let's see how many people go for this. Anybody? Girly Pops? Yeah, get in there. I don't like these red hats because they look like certain hats, if you know what I mean. Um, we should change the color of the hats. 
We're all lining up because we're all boring AF. Although it's kind of cute with the tree in the middle, isn't it? That is kind of a vibe. We got the twist, guys. Don't worry, everyone. We got the twist. I've been doing some market research and I got the twist. Does anyone understand this game? I don't know if I'm just like talking out my ass. Um, we got the twist, so that's all good. So let's get that in there. We did our market research and we got the twist. So I, oh my God, there's a fucking tree right in the way. I'm going to kill that tree. No. Oh my God. I sound so Australian when I do that. I hate it. <laughs> no one clip that, please. <laughs> Make the trees taller, then you can have higher coasters. You can't just change, you can't just change the size of a tree. That's like the rules of feminism. Okay. There we go. Someone get on this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's change the the hat color though. I think we have a hat store here. Let's change it. What color do you guys want? Maybe like a per let me we can offset it with a lilac. That's the closest I can see to lilac. <laughs> no, someone clipped it. <laughs> oh yeah, I have the clip thing. I keep forgetting to tell you guys. I don't know if I did ages ago that um, now you guys can clip by just going exclamation point clip and it clips it. Did it work for you? Anyway, we're doing good. Do we want to keep going or do you guys want to play Texas? I don't mind. I really don't mind, guys. I really don't mind. Uh, I also put on um, YouTube, I put a little question thing for what I should be doing for my stream because I have to do a YouTube stream for my uh, 10 years on YouTube and no one had like no one had very productive answers some people were like do 500 <laughs> do a thing of 500 films um I saw yours Rob you said do the best films of uh 2014 I don't think I did a my favorite films of 2014 video I could be completely wrong so that isn't so bad because that's the year I started. Didn't finish. Lim I'll finish Limbo. I'm going to finish Limbo. I'm going to do that at the end of the week because usually Mondays, like Mondays is more of a chill thing. Tuesdays is name that film. And then, well, Mondays is meant to be slay. So look at me slaying or Sundays, I guess for you guys. And then Friday, I just wanted to space it out because I actually like that game and I can finish it really easily in two rounds. So I just wanted to make sure we were taking our time to enjoy it. One shot for every year. I don't know if I can do that on YouTube. We need to look at, um, if you guys have any good ideas, let me know. I mean, I'll just do a live stream. I just need to figure out how to make it exciting. Because this is our chill vibe. Guys here, it's all about the chill. See, why would they make, <laughs> they do it a vertical here? Why would they do a vertical roller coaster and then fuck me? Okay, um, let's try it though. I haven't, I've never done a vertical roller coaster, so... We gotta find a strip of land which doesn't have trees that's close to the path. I wanna kind of see if I can mess with them. Hmm. I'm not finding anything. I think here is the best one. Oh. Not really, actually, Gully. Uh, what will be after Limbo? Um, everyone keeps saying Little Nightmares. I kind of just want to play that to shut people up. <laughs> so people can't t keep re um, recommending it to me. Um, and that seems very similar to Limbo. So I'm thinking we should probably try that. Um, do we have that, Rob? Do you have that? <laughs> Grizz. Grizz? I never heard of Grizz. Let me have, I'm just looking that up really quick. Grizz. Game. Oh. Oh, it's a no. No text, only simple control reminders. Adventure game. Is it? Is it scary though? Yeah, it's very similar. So I think Little Nightmares. It might be it. Um. Remember, guys, it is better for me to play on PlayStation, so I don't have any of the weird issues with my Mac overheating. I am on a laptop. Well, this is a good line. Except it's the wrong way, really. I think I'm going to do it. Fuck. How do I do this? 
I'll just do it now and then figure out the line later. Oh, don't have enough money. Let's borrow some. Um. Wait, vertical. Make me let me go vertical. Slope up on a vertical. Oh, shut up. Okay, it lied. Misfortune. I don't think is Rob did Rob answer and I just ignored him. <laughs> Probably. Okay, what ride can we build, guys? It's just all the same crap over and over. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing for me here. What was the question? Oh, do we have little... Do you have little nightmares? That I can play? Stand-up coaster, guys? Wait, is that a stand-up coaster? Yeah, that is a stand-up coaster. We're all going to have the same crap. Yes, you have it. On PlayStation? Can I play it on this PlayStation that I have borrowed from you? Also, do you know what's exciting when you put water? People love... Pe people in this place love this shit. Your little spray water thing. People love that. It makes the excitement go up. Look at that. And then another trick to make excitement go up on coasters is to put music. Techno? Water style. Because there's water around it. Don't tell me why that's water themed. I don't know. Um, should be installed. Okay, cool. Let's do little nightmares after we do limbo. Because we finished halfway, th like we've already finished half of limbo. So, fucking trees in the way, always in the way. The trees, always in the way. They love it. Look how boring these people are. They love it. Um, I picked up Ramby. Bramble. Bramble. I never even heard of it. What's a bramble? Oh, it's a game. The trees are getting their tree burned. <laughs> yeah, they really are. Anyway, so that's that. <laughs> I don't want to... <laughs> this is the weirdest thing. I'm going to save it. Oh, no, I don't want to save it. Should I save it? I'm not going to save it. I'm going to quit. <laughs> See, this is what I mean. I don't care. But, like, I like that game, but I just like it purely for that. Um... That was fun. Okay. And then we're going to play some Texas. Because <laughs> it's just too much, guys. I'm doing too little and too much at the exact same time. Okay. Hopefully this gets together. Get yourself together. You watched a friend play it? I haven't even played, guys. I didn't even play this on the weekend. Isn't that wild? What is Bramble? I'm gonna look it up. Bramble. Oh! It's like a horror thing? A mountain king. Oh, it looks scary! It looks like Outlast, like characters. Action adventure. Attempts to rescue his kidnapped sister from mythological creatures. Guys, this looks good. I want to see if Spooky House wants to deal with it. Sass played it. Did Sass like it? Oh. April 1973. Tragedy and despair have struck central Texas. A young college student named Maria Flores is seemingly vanished without a trace. She was last seen near the town. Can we gift games? You don't have to gift games. But you can tell me about them. I don't want to, like, because what if you gift it and I just don't play it? I feel bad. <laughs> I do appreciate it, though. A couple of you guys have sneakily gift gifted games, but I don't want to give that idea. I can't see the f anything. <laughs> Why am I over here? Who put me over here? 
Okay, play. I haven't played this in a couple of days, guys. I No, I don't even know. Probably the last time we played. I've stopped playing this. I guess this is my first time having a lull with a game that I actually really love um, from this. I'm feeling sneaky. You don't have to gift anything. I don't know what game. What if I don't play it? What if you gifted me alien, like an alien isolation type game and I hated it? I feel bad. Cuddled it up with the kittens watching you play is extra relaxing. I know I don't have to work tomorrow. Are you just took the day off or what's the deal? Or is it a snow, snow day? I don't know. Still thinking about that. Am I safety? I put my, I have a theory on it and I put that on my Discord. Um, but I can't, you can't really talk about it because it's just too spoilery. Wait. Wait, oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to actually get out of that. I was going to go back. <laughs> I swear I was in the lobby. Yeah. Yes, Aaron and I took it off. Oh, of course. Yeah, you did say it was his birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to him. <laughs> Happy birthday. It's my birthday coming up soon too. It's Rob's birthday coming up too. Rob's birthday is before mine. Wait, why can I not be sissy sassy? Should I be cook? Oh, I fucking hate this. I don't want to be in this family. <laughs> Me in real life. <laughs> Um, I don't want to be, I don't want to be in this family right now. I don't want to be here right now. Uh, should I be cook? I don't know how I feel about cook. Do I have points to spend? Yeah, I do, I think. I think I have 39. He's so slow and so annoying. It was a noise. And I didn't know what it was. Oh, it was me leveling up, I think. Endurance. I know I missed one. I don't even know what I'm doing, guys. This is what I mean. I don't know what I'm doing with the loadout. To that one commenter. I don't know what I'm doing and I just do it. Because that's what happens when you have no patience. Is that the endurance? The bottom one? I can't tell. But that's what I need. That's what I need. What level am I now for? I'll allow it. I can't believe I'm playing Cook. Ew. Poopy head, is it your birthday? I wished everybody. I wished everybody ever. Did you see my first comments in the Discord about a very specific fear it triggered? No, I didn't. I tried to go back and find everyone's. Which is why we probably should have had a thread or something. I can't do cringe. I think you'd like it, Ballet Flats. I just had to watch it because everyone started talking about the last episode and I didn't want it to be spoiled. But I have... I can't watch Nathan Fielder that much either. It wasn't that bad because it's broken up with like different scenes from obviously different characters, but yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. I can't watch any of his like solo TV shows. I can't. Oh my god. I'm I don't think I've even seen that cutaway scene. Look at the dang mess he stirred up. Oh god, why am I here? Okay, wait, let me just turn my light off because it's in my eyes. Sorry guys. Um now we're in the dark. God, I feel like I'm so close when I'm someone else. I don't know why. What do I have to do? I have to set up my locks. Okay, that's right. Okay, padlock. Wow, he's fast at doing that padlock thing. Can you put a padlock on the downstairs? Is a question you oh my Johnny god. Come around here. There's trouble right behind. My god, you better clean this up. And then I put a padlock here, right? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so that's my third padlock. And then what do I do? Get blood? Nathan for you. I, ca I can't do too much cringe. It just becomes a lot, you know what I mean? Oh, should I be listening? I don't know. My team seems good. Except they didn't know there's blood buckets here. 
I get 20. That's not too bad, guys. That's actually not bad at all. The blood. Grandpa, get hungry. That's it. Speaking of, what should I have for lunch? Tastes good, don't it? I feel like I need to do a little bit of a foolish. I'm so sorry. I'm having like a little bit of like a mental crisis right now. I'm gonna be for real with you guys. Someone said something so mean about the way I looked the other day, and I now I cannot look at myself on this camera. It's driving me absolutely fucking wild. I know that was very random. You're just Definitely should have been in a dialogue, but oh look, my heart rate's going up <laughs> because I'm like airing my truth. I will fight them. Oh my god, just making breakfast here. I'm no sorry food. About your friend. What's going on? But I'm afraid you done we... a square dab in the shit house. <sighs> oh my god, I can't do shit. People are terrible. Yeah, people are terrible. Wait, where's my lock? It's still on there. Sorry, I'm gonna read the comments. Um, don't listen to the haters. People are terrible. I'm making breakfast. There was no food in there. Oh, yeah, that's. I need to go do that too. And I don't know what to to do. Is someone running after me? Oh shit! Oh, that was good. Why was he running after me like a little psycho? A little sicko psycho. Thank you. I don't know. I don't know. I should have kept that was in a dialogue that I should have kept in there. To be honest. I think someone is hiding out here. I got cereal, which I never get. I wanted something cold because it's so bloody hot. Yeah, I don't get it. A lot of people love... Um... Oh, shit. A lot of people love... Where'd he go? Love hot food in hot environments. I hate it. Well, let's see it. Should I cook? I need to kick some again. Earn points. I don't know how to play cook. It is so hot in Australia, guys. Well, in Perth. It's been a lot. I've Take been trying to ignore now. the fact it's summer It'll for a long right time. <laughs> it's finally caught up with me. I can't wait for winter. That's what I just keep thinking every time I don't like summer. I can't wait for winter. I can't wait for winter. I can't wait for winter. Shit, they opened the basement. Turds. <laughs> what were we saying? We watched that, um, the movie, guys. Oh shit. Shit. Oh fuck, leave grandpa alone, you twerp. What is going on? I can't even move. Oh, someone's dying. I can't see. Shit. Oh my god. There is a lot going on here. You're blocking. Stop blocking. Oh my god, I can't get out that door. Is that the end? I think that's the end. That's surely the end. Can I get up a... I don't even know how to do this. Oh, shit, there you go. It's very cold here, but it hasn't snowed because society was shut down. Winter is so long. Ooh, stretch. Hydrate. I need to get my drink. Oh shit, I still have coffee. It's so cold now. Was that hydration? I, don't, I think it might be in the opposite. I think it may be in the opposite. Oh, we should change to... Texas, right? Oh my god, what is going on? Posture check. Did I not? I'm on my very posture friendly chair which I fucking I love this chair 
It honestly, it was such a scary purchase, guys, but it was the best thing. It was the best thing. I love this chair. Um, oh, no. No! <laughs> I'm saying, I need to stop saying no like that. I'm so sick of playing. I want to play sissy, girly. I, okay, thank you. <laughs> Me having a tantrum. I played the other ones. Texas Chainsaw Tycoon. God. God. It's rough. It's rough and wild. Me having a full-on tantrum. How would that go? Texas Chainsaw Tycoon. You'd build... Maybe you could build... Um, a, like, maps for victims? See how terror filled it gets? I don't know. I don't know, guys. How would that work? Build a labyrinth of a house. And then they go in there. You know what would be really cool? If you did Roller Coaster Tycoon for haunted houses at like, you know, like HHN. Oh my god, thank you so much, Soft! Did I miss something? Is J. Rue your friend? Thank you so much, Soft. That's so sweet. If only my thing still worked. It doesn't. <laughs> thank you, Soft. I love you. They are your friend. Yeah. Do I know them? Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much, fellow Flots. Of course, now we can't play because I get to be sissy sassy. No! Fuck, Emma, stop saying it like that. <laughs> I keep getting myself in trouble. So the rest of this month in terms of horror, there's not a lot going on, which is kind of sad. I need to look up my local cinemas to see if I've missed anything. But I think Baghead's the next one. Which is kind of sad. <laughs> um, movies. Yes, tell her I say she needs to. Needs to what? You don't. Oh, she's. Wait. I'm trying to get her. You do not. Okay. Yeah, I just didn't know who it was. But hello, friend. Um, oh, I'm seeing the color purple this week. Oh, guys, and May, December comes out in February here in cinemas, which is wild. Can, sorry, can someone let me play the game? That I, mm, that's annoying. Um, I'm so sad there's not another horror movie. What's I did it my way? Oh, drug trafficking. Oh my god. So yeah, bag- Oh, Baghead's not until the 22nd. I thought it was at the first, like around the first. That's so annoying. What's Tiger Stripes? Did you know about this one? 11 year old girl starts to experience horrifying physical changes to her body. It looks like an international film. Tiger Stripes? Jesus. Oh, wait. <laughs> Rob's gonna be like, I told you about this! Ready? <laughs> I could feel I was getting in, in a lot of trouble. <laughs> I could feel in that moment Rob was about to get really mad at me. I don't remember, I'm sorry. Coming of rage. Rob, you know how I feel about the term coming of rage, where it's overused, it's probably in one ear and out the other. Well, it's, it's coming, Rob did tell you, I remember. <laughs> Des, whose side are you on? I know it's not mine. <laughs> I'd rather be Hitchhiker than, sis, um, than Shania Twain saw? Do you see this name? Amazing. Hitchhiker than, um, whatchamacallit. I told her about it at least five times. Did you? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I really mean that. It's it's hard for me to keep track of like every single movie that people say. I'm not trying to be mean about it. It's just... It's hard. My brain is so small and yours is so big, Rob. <laughs> What's a girly to do? It was my top hour film. Top hour? Top four film. 
Oh god, he's going off. It's horror? Okay. Okay, Rob. All right, Rob. <laughs> so mad. Let's do blood. Oh no, did I get kicked? Fuck. Okay, well that's coming out on the 29th of uh, Feb. <laughs> and I'm gonna say in the video, if I do a come with me, I'm gonna be like, never heard of this film before. Never heard anyone talk about it. <laughs> Kyle Richards in what? You made two separate videos about it. I'm sorry, Rob, don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. It's hard to keep up with everybody. I don't have a, a memory like you. I'm adding it to my list. What is it called? Tiger Strike? <laughs> Rob, I've never heard of it and you are definitely not the first person to tell me. <laughs> um, leap year this year. Yes, there is. Kyle is in Watcher in the Woods. Oh my god. Kyle can get fucked, um, honestly. Kyle Richards is in my bad books now. Um, and we got Baghead. Watch me hate- watch me go to the mo movies to go see it, Rob, and then hate it. <laughs> then what are you gonna do? But Rob, if all of the people- <laughs> What is it? What, what would be a good saying? If all of the people... Oh, fuck. I can't think of one. But Rob, if I re read all of your comments... If, Rob, if all of the people... Fuck, I don't know. Someone must know it. It will happen. Did you like History of a Cult that much? Oh my god, Rob's ready to stab me. If you love Tiger Stripes, are you still gonna tell Rob that you hate it just to annoy him? Yeah, maybe. That might be the plan. Wait, why are we sitting here? <laughs> Rob, if all of the people who listen to you about films leave the country, who's gonna ignore you? I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to think of it. Mm. In the sense that, I don't know. What should I have for lunch today though? Rob, I, I tell this story all the time. Oh, fuck. Who keeps taking sissy? You're annoying. I tell this story all the time. My friend Zach and I went and saw one of the... F I don't even know what movie. I honestly can't even remember what movie. Maybe The Nun? And I went and saw the second one without them. And they got so mad at me. And they were like, we saw the first one together. I thought we were going to say... And I said, I am so sorry. Honestly... I see so many movies. I don't remember who I even see them with. And so many people recommend movies to me every single day, which is such a luxury and I love, trust me, I do love. I screenshot so many things that people send me and then I, for I forget. Rob, sometimes I type in, I wanna watch this movie into Google and then my own review comes up. So I'm reminding myself I've seen it. It's definitely nothing personal. Do you know what I mean? Did they bother? No, they didn't make plans. But I, uh, sometimes I see stuff, movies with Dean all the time and I say, did we see this together? I don't remember watching that together. Unless it's like a very memorable like screening in terms of like the place we go. But I watch movies, I forget that I've seen movies that I've gone and made a whole review on. <laughs> yeah, I do like you raging, but honestly it isn't anything. <laughs> My brain is nothing that serious. Oh, I have I don't think I played Hitchhiker in this location. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. There should be a blood bucket up here. At least he moves like sissy, which I like. I'm sorry guys, but Dead by Daylight graphics have nothing on this. Oh, we're with a Johnny. I can't believe we were Johnny. Ew. <laughs> Emma, your letterbox roundup. You promised to watch more foreign films directed by women. I'm watching it. I'm going to watch it. Do you have any recommendations? Is that movie... Is Tiger Stripes by a woman director? Is that what you mean? I put it on my list. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, now I see what's happening. 
And I got a bunch of other recommendations. Okay, maybe I already put them. Did I put it on my to watch list? As my, it might already be on there, guys. <laughs> You're assuming it's not already on my watch list, which it may be. Where is Gramps? Oh, he's there. Oh my god, girly. Where is Sissy? It is. It's okay. So it's already on my watch list. So what's everyone tweeting and twatting about? <laughs> what's everyone tweeting and twatting about? What's everyone tweeting and twatting about? This will catch up. <laughs> Guys, what are we tweeting and twatting about? Emma the gaslighter. <laughs> I gaslight myself to be fair, so I fall into my own traps. That being said, how many times have I said, what should I have for lunch? I don't know if I've, I've said it out loud yet. Also, I want to know more about J.Ru. Is that how I say your name? J.Ru or is it Junior? <laughs> That's your new catchphrase. Okay. I hate that I come up with these and then I, all of a sudden I, I don't know who I am and I'm saying something really random. I say a lot of like fake curse words here. There's something else I said. What I say what in the, I don't forget what I say now to be honest. Is there some... I feel like there's someone is in here. How's that? Haha. <laughs> -ha. How's that, bitch? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> me. I say a lot of fake curse words. Also me. Also me. What are you tweeting and twatting about? <laughs> I know what they're doing now. So we're just gonna set this trap here. Um. I like your random sayings. What's what's the cuss? Grandpa dropped me this little trick. You're right, J. Ru. Because I think come on, Ali. I don't know why I think of that as J. Hey, uh, 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 <laughs> That's what I'm keep thinking about. Where is all the girlies? Where are we all hanging, guys? He was my neighbor. Oh, we've got a, what do you call it? Okay, he was my neighbor. Uh, once upon a time and we end up, and we became best friends, phew. I'm, sick of eating scraps. I'm trying to, but I can't even control my. I should have made more of them traps. I'm thinking of junior kangaroos. Junior kangaroos have a name. It's called a wallaby. How have we not got Grandpa to level one yet? This is embarrassing for the whole family. Come on. Let's see if she's up here again. When she tried to hide in the corner, that was funny. This will all be over soon, sunshine. You don't have to be scared. <gasps> Wait, who screamed? <laughs> I think she's dying. <laughs> oh god, that is Gurgle. That is Gurgle City. I've never heard her like that before. That's actually pretty wild. Oh, oh my god, she's still twitching. She's twitching, guys. Just like that slaughter pit. She's like, she's twitch twatching. She's twitching on Twitch. She's twitching on Twitch. Did we just see someone? Oh, it's just sissy. It's just sissy sassy. I thought baby kangaroos were called joeys. They are, but like smaller kangaroos are called wallabies, basically. 
Have you seen the Umbrella Mint tent? Entertainment has a free... What? A free what? Stre streaming service now. And they have Skippy. Oh my god. They're different, but you know what I mean. Someone's dying and I'm not doing anything about it. I'm really playing half ass. My team's probably so mad at me. These varmints sure can hide. That was a joke. Back in the day, there was a gross... What the heck is going on? Oh, I know that the baby kangaroo is a joey. Duh. Do you know what a baby echidna is called, though? Do you know that? I had a budgie. Do you guys know what a budgie is? Like a budgerigar? Australian bird. I had a budgerigar that was called Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life, who lived for like 15 years and was like absolutely mad. What is going on in this country? They're a free service, what? Broly, and if you're in Oz and have a VPN, it's worth a look. If you're not in Oz, if you aren't in Oz, I don't know. I can't keep up with what's going on. Today has been a very strange, it's been a strange morning. There's, I'm working on a video right now, which calls for a lot of sadness. It's a hard video to make, lots of disturbing content. I've got to figure out if I'm going to film the actual video today or not. You know what I mean? What comes next? I only did one main channel video in it last week because I was so, I've been so burnt out. Um, but you guys seem to enjoy it, which was really good. Can I please, someone let me be sissy. Why is everyone sissy today? I'm going to be victim. I'm coming back in as a victim. A hint, it might be... Um, it's got to do with series. It's got to do with series. Has it got to do with series? No, it doesn't. <laughs> I lied. It's not, it hasn't got to do with series at all. It's got to do with crime. <laughs> that was a bad hint. It's kind of disturbing. Misdirection. <laughs> I'm gonna be a victim. We'll see the heart rate go up. What do you mean? It's definitely what got some of that in mean? it, Jimmy. <laughs> what do you mean? It's definitely. I, did, I watched. Um, hey, Des, thanks so much. Thank you. And I'm sorry that you have to work. <laughs> Hope your work is a little bit breezier today. Thanks for the follow cams. Hey, at least the alerts are working again, guys. Um, what was I gonna say? I watched the Natalia Gray second season on the weekend as well. Did anyone else watch it? I cleaned my whole house listening to it. So it's six episodes. They extended it. It should have been three. Um, it's six episodes. So I, I cleaned my entire house while I was listening to it. The first one, flats. Has anyone watched the second season of Natalia Gray's? You guys, oh my god, oh my god. I want to tell you something, but I can't. But it it will, it will help you. Dude is a cartoon character, exactly. I want to tell you something about it that will aid, aid you, but I don't want it to be a spoiler. I wish I could have spoiler covers in the chat so I could, like, say it, but then not say it. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I still haven't watched that Godzilla show. That's the next. We just finished uh, Gen V. I think a bunch of you guys recommended that too. <clears throat> um, that was so good. So good. You might be right on that. Flats. Um, Gen V is so good. Uh, I love the boys, but I thought Gen V was like so well thought out in terms of a play on Gen Z and like the loop of fucking trauma within <sighs> yeah expectations I just love it I love it Homelander is also like one of my favorite characters ever on TV I think Homelander is like one of the best like just so evil. I think we had this conversation last time so evil so good if you have watched if you watch the boys and you haven't watched Gen V you're like you're missing out it's so smart it's so clever
It takes forever to when you're uh, when you're on this side, eh? I haven't played as a victim in so long. True, I love Homelander. They give that actor the juiciest stuff to play and he nails it. I love the boy, but I hate I the, the whole point is to hate him. He's just so perfect. Why would they not make me Julie? Oh god. Why would they not make me Julie straight away? That's so bizarro. Oh wow. Am I gonna get a game straight away? I get a game quicker being a victim than trying to get sissy sassy. I ne actually, you know what? I should change my um, loadout because I'm obviously not using that first one. This one, because it's still on one. After navigating five faster. Stealth. Stamina. When grandpa's ability is active, you'll remain undetected even if you are spotted. What? What's good, guys? Mm. Grandpa is 30%. Proficiency. Holding a key item. I don't know if that's good. Uh, I will watch Gen V after we finish the season 3 of The Boys. You can watch it in any order as well, I think. Actually, maybe not. Maybe you do have to finish it. Because they do say something about like what Homelander does, but it's pretty like vague. I don't know when that happened in the series. I haven't seen um, Watch the Boys. Like I watched it when it first came out. So I feel like there were some reoccurring characters. The Dean's like, you remember her? And I'm like, mm, kind of. It takes place after, oh, there you go. I need to find an op shop somewhere in this country that gets to get better seats. I can't work like this. What? A chair? You can have my old computer chair. It's not very good though. <laughs> I have this chair I'm trying to get rid of for free, obviously. Um, Ikea rolling chair, black. It's like this. It's expensive chair. It says it's $400. Oh, it's Brian Pemberton. It's that chair. If anyone wants that chair, you're welcome to take it. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Okay, guys. Oh my god. We're going in. Guys, it's happening. Did anyone see? Oh, fuck. Did we see what? Did anyone see what map it is? This is getting scary. Okay. Guys, it's happening. We're in the basement. Oh, Anna's next to me. I was like, who is in my ear? <laughs> Guys! Oh, do we have a leather face? We don't have a leather face. Which means... Bitch, doesn't mean you can make noise. Doesn't mean make noise. That's not what it means. Because then we get rushed. And I don't want to get rushed. Because I'm just a little girly. Wait, how do I get into... Why am I always crouching? Oh, Connie. fucking Connie, bitch. You're still alive. Why am I always crouching? No matter what I do, I'm crouching. Guys, it's happening. Can I use that? This is good. This is good. Guys, it's happening. I'm gonna call it Connie, I think. <gasps> Wasn't me. <gasps> Wasn't me. Did she open this? She opened it. She's opening every single door. What do we do? What do we do? Do I just go out? I just wait. I don't know. I don't know what you mean about Vegemite. I like Vegemite. I love Vegemite. 
but it's also such a weird thing to say. It's like a pop tart's a, a global troll. <laughs> is like deep fried Oreos a global troll? I don't know. You know what I mean? Guys, my heart rate, and I'm just standing here. Can we go? When do we start? Guys, when do we start? Do we just go? Think. Think. It's open. Do, do we just go? What do I do? I don't know how this works when we don't rush the basement. Like when we don't have a leather face, sorry, I should say. rush the basement. I'm hiding here. I'm hoping you didn't see me. Oh, Sunny. Sunny! Oh my god, everything is attached to me. All the sound is attached to me. How did I get out? <laughs> How did I get out of there? I haven't really watched you play this. Oh my god, it's so good. Nutella is the American Vegemite. Nutella is Italian. <laughs> not <laughs> Nutella is a Nutella is not American. <laughs> Nutella's not American, are you for real? Hide. Hide. They're coming. That's Connie. Or is that me talking to myself? They have to oh, it's Anna. Somewhere. You can't claim Nutella. We probably use Nutella more than you guys. We love Nutella in Australia. You can't just claim things. Yeah, bitch. Someone is near me. Oh, oh fuck. I screamed and he's after me he can see me he can squeeze me he can definitely see me he can definitely squeeze me he can slaughter me like a pig guys i made it out of the basement hood, hood, hood. i shouldn't have i should have gone the other way girly pops girly pops that was too scary for me no, uh, I know what I'm buying to sell later. What? Oh, you're talking about the beer stuff? Did you ever check out Pluto TV? Another one I found. Oh, shit. I don't, I don't think I need any more free-to-air stuff. I just rent stuff, guys. I don't think Heinz is, Heinz is not American. I thought Heinz is... From the UK. Is Heinz not the UK? Or German? Oh, it's American. Pennsylvania. From Pennsylvania. So how do you guys have Heinz beans, but you don't eat baked beans? How do you have Heinz beans, but you guys don't eat baked beans? That's the question. Doesn't make any sense. I like to waste food. <laughs> we eat baked beans. You just don't like baked beans on toast? What's your issue? What the American, the quintessential American food is, okay, I would say like, um, 
what are those things when the the ding dongs like the ding dongs twinkie a twinkie is twinkie real or is it twinkie's actually really good twinkie real or is it just an america there's like i would not be if i was american that was the last thing i would be claiming like is this real or just a prank babes everything everything in america is it real or just a prank because it feels like you guys are punking us people eat baked beans in the u.s but just as a side dish with a barbecue i mean we do the same here yeah i knew i knew about that rob unfortunately it's just a prank hand it's not world war ii anymore i kind of feel like baked beans for lunch is but how how healthy are baked beans I've been eating the same, you know when you eat the same thing over and I've been having a chicken Kiev for lunch for like the last three weeks. Baked beans, healthy? It should be a soundboard. Can you find, can you find it on YouTube? I can add it to the soundboard. Baked beans, are, I think they have a lot of salt in there though. Yeah, they add a lot of salt and sugar. Baked beans on toast actually sounds like a good lunch. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Doesn't sound bad. More Scottish foods are mostly based on a dare. Um, like the sausage. We have bangers and mash like every week for dinner. <laughs> It's so easy. <laughs> it's just, it's too easy. Snowballs. I think we have snowballs in Australia. Twinkies are very good. I had a Twinkie. I think it's good. Haggis. Yeah, that's it. And the blood sausage. I mean, we eat kangaroo here. So I would say that's more of a, would be more crazier than Vegemite. I have some friends coming from America to Australia. So they have to eat kangaroo and they say no. And I'm like, you have, you have to. It's just, a, they were like, no. Well, one of them was eating a, like, beef jerky. <laughs> um, it's like one of the leanest meats. It's actually the, one of the most healthy meats on, on earth. Sorry, I know that there are vegans in the chat. <laughs> kangaroo is very healthy. Because it's like one of the leanest meats. There's like no fat on it. A series of home invasions throughout Bell County have turned into a search for a known fugitive, Omar Pauly. And it's not like it's a rare Texas, animal. Was well. arrested in 1967 for aggravated assault. Ring dings. Sentenced to five years. Ring ding is like the funniest After word. Police, Ring ding. Omar Pauly was Ring dings and ding dongs. <laughs> it's the name alone that does it for me. Okay, I'm scared. Why am I playing victim? This is so random, guys. This is so random and quirky of me. Camel. I think I tasted a bunch of stuff when I was younger. I only started eating meat again last year for health reasons. And I'm still very selective when I eat meat. Oh wait, do we? There's no Leatherface. Just because there's no Leatherface doesn't mean you guys can be. Oh my god, fuck me like this. I think I can make it. Who did that? Fuck. You're gonna get out, okay? You will, Julie. I'm not gonna get out of that basement. A lockpick? Someone escaped the basement. Put a one in chat. What's the one in chat for? I love Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, we love you. <laughs> chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I like Chitty Chitty and bed knobs and broomsticks. 
Also, soft is a mod, so they can make, um, I think soft is a mod. You should be able to make poles if you want to. I'm gonna have to hide here because sissy sassy is here. <laughs> Them, but I don't know anything about it. If you type like a, a one of the forward slash or the backslash and write poll, something should come up and then you can make a poll. It's super easy. If I can figure out how to do it, you can. Oh, why did everything slam? I'm definitely going the wrong way. Where is the exit? Does anyone know where the exit is? house guys can someone fuck off whoever was just standing there basement open shit that means we go this way guys fuck my how can I oh my god I can't guys I cannot I have no cool I have no cool I have no cool I have no cool I'm not a cool person ah! <laughs> Guys, how can I find this tunnel? Where is it? <laughs> Guys, I'm stressed. <laughs> Look at my heart rate. I'm stressed. I'm just going around. Ah! He can't get me once I go here. Get fucked. Get fucked, old man. I get so stressed when I play this. I am making things worse and I'm very aware of that, my girlfriend. My friend, my girl. I don't know how to get... Guys, I don't know where the fucking thing is and I can't find it. Because I'm like, <gasps> guys, 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 guys! I did nothing, but I, I wrote on the tail. <laughs> I wrote on the tail coats of all of my, all of the ancestors before me. Come on, Sonny, you can do it. You can do it, Sonny. Do it, Sonny! <gasps> He's blocking it. <gasps> He's blocking it! Stab him? Does he have a- he doesn't have anything. He doesn't have a weapon. He needs to stab him. That's bullshit. Go back, Sonny! Just go back! That was so mean. He was just blocking it. He's gonna try- you can't get a- you can't stab him within that time. There's no way. Oh my god, guys. This is exciting to watch. Go Sunny, 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 <laughs> Wait, does it stay open? It's closing, Sunny. Fuck, you know, it closed. That was so unfair. Now you listen. Now you listen. Oh, Sunny's the last one in there. Let's see if he can make it out. Come on, weird 4413, you can do it. Oh no. Oh, hi. Hi there. <laughs> oh my god. Where are you going, girly? Gotta keep out of sight. Gotta keep moving. Where are you going? <gasps> oh my god. Do it, Sunny. You can do it. I don't know if that was the right move, but whatever. <laughs> Jump scare didn't get me. Really oh, did you send me the link? Gotta find help. Got you now. My heart is almost at 100%. <laughs> it's, it's my heartbeat, it's not my percentage. That's so funny, I'm just putting that in. I need to find something. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Sad death. We don't have to watch him die. Let's see how little points I got. Because I did nothing. Does it say? I didn't see my points. Oof. Come on, Eileen. Ah. Oh, that was such a cheap move, guys. I cheated. I cheated. Is it cheating when I just ride off the coattails of my teammates? Oh my god. Look like I have like a... A little... Poof. You know what I mean? <laughs> like a... <laughs> 2000s. That person in a group assignment, yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes I am, sometimes I ain't. I'm a very solo person, so usually I don't really involve myself with group activities like that. <laughs> Who is gonna- it's very quiet. Who is gonna clean the toilets? Unless my hair is just in my ears. I don't know what to do, guys. I was waiting to grow my- <laughs> grow my fringe out. But it's taking a fucking long time, and I kind of just want to cut it back in at this point. But it's- it's so hot at the moment that it's just worth length going back. But now I'm like, I have no benefit of the fringe and I have no benefit of not having a fringe at the moment. Let's not trust the process. Because I wanted to do like this. I don't know, I'm thinking about it, I'll just cut it back in. It's annoying. I do like my fringe. It's just so hot at the moment. It's just not worth it because your face gets fucking oiled in two seconds. You're looking for fringe benefits. Exactly. Exactly. Should I go get my drink? I showed a friend come and see for the first time yesterday. Oh my god. How can you watch that with anybody else? That is twisted. I like the show fringe. How could you watch that with anyone else? It's such an intense show, show movie. I watched it by myself. I remember where I was because it was impactful. I remember watching it and just crying and being like, okay, I, I cannot, I cannot. That, that movie is the most insane thing ever. That was sublime, yeah. The whole thing is just, wild i struggled to I struggle i struggled to get into found it boring it's yeah it's a very intense journey i need to pee and i need to get a drink so i'm gonna do that while this is loading with my beautiful fringe my side scoop oh shit i mean i'll lock in and let's hope it doesn't press play kind of works no it doesn't I'll be one sec, guys. The brutal attack on three female college students Texas last year is back in the public spotlight. Pflugerville citizens are in an uproar demanding answers from Texas state officials on why no arrests have been made in the case. Reports say an unidentified man entered the home in the middle of the night, viciously strangling one female to death before attempting to stab both roommates who were sleeping. Started. We have. Fuck, there's a Leatherface in here too. How do I not get killed by Leatherface? Oh my god, someone. How did I not get killed by Leatherface? Someone is dying.
He's gone. So for people who don't know, the color means that they're like close to you. So like when it's glowing. Lockpicks. There's usually one down here. Fuck. He's coming. Fuck. If I just sit here, will he find me? <laughs> Shut up. Stupid bitch. <laughs> He's coming back for sure. There's a bone that I can pick here. Can I use that? He couldn't see me. He couldn't squeeze me. He saw me. Oh! <laughs> he saw me. He squeezed me. He can see me. He can squeeze me. He can see me. He can squeeze me. He can see me. He can squeeze me. Fuck. He can slaughter me. I was trying to get through the gap. It wouldn't let me. He saw me. He squeezed me. It was over. So scary. Come on, this game is terrifying. You're here. Oh, I died. I should be with my family. I'm in this, I'm a rat in a cage. Hey, this is my little hair clip I put in when I do my makeup so my hair stays out of my face and then I've just been keeping them in my hair all day. <laughs> um, this is the most intense game you play. Is, yeah, I know. It has to be. Is there anything more? Well, Outlast is pretty intense too. That's probably why I like it. Oh, guys, you get some ASMR for free. House of Fire was this intense, was it? Get some PSMR. So I got sent like a whole bunch of drinks. If you guys have like picked up the the vibe a while back for a potential sponsorship, I want to try them out. And basically, um, I got like addicted to them. Like, I love them. But then they didn't come back with the sponsorship. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to happen. And it kind of sucks because now I love these drinks. And I'm like, well, I want to. <laughs> so that's why I always pour them into another cup when I drink them. Because I don't want to give them the free promo. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's how they hook you up. They, I, if that was the, the goal. Because they gave me like $100 worth of this stuff. So that's why I drink it out of the Twitch cup now. <laughs> Because I've never had like energized drinks like that. Because you guys know I was trying to do like no carbonated stuff. Um, because it was messing with my belly. And this having, oh my God, I feel like I'm doing a promo now. Doing like a non carbonated beverage. Yeah, it's fruit punch, no. It's like an energy drink, but I only use like, fuck, I'm like really outing myself. I only use like a little bit of the mix. So that I'm not, um, hey Kayla, by the way. Um, so I'm not like fully, because I have a coffee in the morning and then I have some of this. So I'm like, but it keeps me drinking my liquids. And I'm sure I say this all the time, guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. This is such a weird thing. Twitch has become such a weird thing that we do together. Don't you think? Anyone else think that, like, I mean, I, I find that weird about everything I do online, like, with doing YouTube and stuff has become, like, a weird thing that now is my job. 
but Twitch is even weirder because <laughs> it's like we meet here and you guys listen to me just completely go off the rails and you and you just sit here and you enjoy it and I don't know why and I love it not you twitching on Twitch <laughs> uh, maybe they're waiting for a follow-up no no I followed up with them I don't want to give out too much information because it gives out who they are but they've had some changes so I followed up with them the guy's very aloof so they definitely hooked me they can see me they can squeeze me I feel like I need to have a planning week for my channel and Twitch and everything. Like a content planning week. Maybe I can even just do that today and have like a planning day where I I just need to like re... Since January has been so quiet with horror, I need to le le re-collaborate <laughs> and um, respawn. <laughs> figure out I need to fit oh, I fucking hate the family house I hate the family house I need to figure out everything I'm gonna do this year because I just I it's become such a weird time and place and I need to like figure out where if I'm going to travel for work and Dean's dragging his feet on our travel plans for this year because obviously we want to travel somewhere we always do every year and that's what I live for I live for my excursions <laughs> That's like what I save for. That's what my whole life is about, travel. And now that it's very strange, I don't have any uh, responsibilities at all without Gromit being here. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. If I'm going to do some traveling for work, what that's going to look like. I've got to plan out those longer streams for you guys finally, because I know I've been saying that for so long. Hey, Eli, thank you so much. Um... Streams have become a part of my weekly routine. I think it's really good to have that we have a streaming schedule and it's re actually really good for me to do these like first things in the morning because it gets my mind into the, the work mode and has gives me some structure for the week because as much as I could plan, okay, I'm going to do a video on Monday and Friday. It's not the way it works with film because it depends what's coming out that week and all that kind of stuff. Just like last week, I just did one main channel video. When I say main channel, I mean that because... I have my uh, Patreon as well. And now I have my gaming channel. Oh my God, I need to talk to you about this. So this is like a whole nother recapulation. Oh, anyway, so last week, let me finish my one thought. Last week I did one video, but then the week before I did three. So it just depends what's coming out that week and what's urgent and if it's the end of the month and if it's a new month, you need to do like what's coming to VOD and there's so much content in terms of that. Um, so I, I'm glad I've got a balance where I'm really busy there's so much to do. I'd love to do some more highlights for my gaming channel. Um, I just haven't found the time. So there's been just a lot. And also trying to have downtime in between that because I do some work on the weekends and I want to make sure I'm like coming back in fresh. But I have a question for you guys. And it might be a question I should probably put on my gaming channel as well. We, <laughs> there is... I have made my gaming, I made a gaming channel, but technically what I do here is we do a lot of talking about horror. We're going to get kicked from this game. We do a lot of talking about horror in comparison to game gaming as well. And I've realized that we need a balance of this. And I think that these work better in my streams where we do a little talky portion first. Like today we talked about Mia Goth, blah, blah, blah. And then we get into this gaming for whoever wants to stay around for the gaming. I know not everyone likes that and it's good to have a balance of both of that because like that's kind of what my channel is anyway. We talk a lot about horror movies, but it's a lot based on the community. Um, so I, my question, I think that I totally branded this channel incorrectly by saying it's horror, it's like spooky astronauts gaming. I think I kind of have to change the name and change I just can't think of anything that encompasses that because if I change it to like other spooky which makes actually perfect sense I should really just call it I just said it other spooky stuff doesn't that make sense spooky stuff other other, other stuff other sp stay spooky other spooky stuff maybe stay spooky because it's like spooky outside of being spooky on the channel do you know what I mean if I call it a channel stay spooky that makes sense as well um, horror is life, horror is life, horror is life. Um, Hannah Montana, if you will. Stay spooky. Stay spooky is cute. I do worry about the term spooky 
I haven't spoken about this much on my channel, but I know that people, there is like a, a tie to that phrase and the wording. I'm not changing, is that a valve perk? Uh, proficiency. Yes, I think it is. <laughs> I don't know, girl. I'm just here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> I will barely make it out of the basement. I don't normally play victim. I play sissy usually. Um... I watching the news and they entered a story with stay safe and my brain went and stay spooky. So I don't know if I want to use that term spooky. Obviously it's my name already and I just don't know if I want to duplicate that. So, but what my idea is, if I open up that other channel to being another channel, the then I'll the put, I can put things like put vlogs and travel stuff and, and highlights that aren't around gaming on there. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out how to keep it so it's open enough but it's also particular enough yeah I don't know but it makes sense to have my own VOD channel as well so maybe I should make a third channel I don't really want to do that did we have a leather face did anyone see no leather face all things horror is what I already have though that's the thing because then it's not all things horror. It's more personal stuff is my point, like this. Like more unproduced. Because other spooky stuff would make sense because it's like everything outside of what I'm already doing. I don't know. Do you guys know what I mean? Am I making any sense to anybody? Where is my door? Please, I'm a <laughs> Oh my God. Hey girlfriend. Okay, shit. Spooky after hours. That's actually kind of cool. Am I scaring you yet? You guys are looking for play on words, but it's more so... Shit. It's more so what I'm requiring is a way to brand it so that it makes sense. Ooh. Ooh. It makes sense that it's going to contain everything that shouldn't be contained here. Shit. Did he move? Shit. Quiet. Shit. Shit. Is he gonna lock it? He's opened the door. He opened the door for me. Run, bitch, run! Run, bitch, run! <laughs> no, Nancy! Nancy! You can't see me, you can't squeeze me, girly! Nancy, you bitch! She, she has no endurance. Oh, fuck. He does. <laughs> 16? <laughs> you could keep the astronauts party and call it space station. That's cute. And a lot of gamers who put their original channel name and then two. Am I still allergic to using your special ability? I think I was using it. I don't know. Was I using it? I haven't played in a while. Am I getting cancelled? Spooky after hours. I guess I have to put it to people, because you guys are here anyway. So I guess I have to put it to people who actually, I don't know if you guys are even sub to that channel, because if you're in the chat here, it will, I totally understand that you would be sub to that channel, because it doesn't really make sense to do both. Um, unless you miss one. But I don't put everything that happens on here in that channel. So. I just, I guess I need to ask them if it's, 
if they're okay with me rebranding <laughs> a channel that they've subbed to. Maybe I can just like slyly call, call it like Spooky Astronaut's Other. <laughs> I don't know. Because I know a lot of people who have log channels which is separate and that makes sense. Not that I think I'd even be good at vlogging. But I just wonder if it's going to be... If limiting myself to just gaming, because we're not doing just gaming there. More spooky... I think more spooky stuff makes sense. You can't see what I'm calling here. <laughs> Maybe you can. Um, I don't know. Spooky hangouts. I just want something that means like longer form, more unstructured. Anyone got a word for that? <laughs> Casual astronauts. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I want to relive my best moments. <laughs> By the way, we got up to the first tier of monetization for the gaming channel, but I didn't realize everything has changed since I've had anything monetized. We, well, first off, there was never any rules for monetization when I used when I first started, which was ten years ago. Um, but now I can monetize it, so I can have memberships and sell merch. But I can't get monetized for ads, which is so bullshit. Because they think they want you to open a membership before you even can have an ad on your channel, which is so wild that they're trying to get. Because obviously, YouTube takes a percentage, so YouTube is taking trying to take a percentage of membership revenue from creators on this first tier before the creators even get paid by YouTube for the ads that are already on their channel. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but it's just, it's pretty like shady, I think. Because it's like, not like they're even respecting you enough to be able to put in, get paid from the ads. Does that make sense? Aren't you 12? <laughs> Wrong person. Actually, where is Charlie? I haven't seen Charlie in so long. Where is Charlie? I have a question, guys. Where is Charlie? We haven't seen Charlie in forever. I think he's placed it. <laughs> Someone needs to not reach out, but I miss Charlie. Charlie used to help all the time with gameplay. Can we look up, Charlie? No. Mm. <laughs> Charlie, if you're watching this, we miss you. I just meant can we look up their account on Twitch, but I don't know how that works. <laughs> kind of mainstream. I think we've seen kind of mainstream around, but maybe just not as much. I just don't, I know that like with your Twitch history, you can, every comment you've ever made on a channel, you can find it. So I just wondered if we could see if they were active on Twitch. I think kind of mainstream has been around. I feel like I'm getting gaslit because I just, I don't know if I have seen these people not, or not, or I'm just imagining it. Um, but yeah, what do you guys want to see in, in terms of streams in the new year? Well, while I have you, is there anything in particular that you guys like? Like the cooking stuff, like anything like that. I wish I could, I wish you could stream. Can you stream to Twitch from your phone? I need to figure that out. Go on a walk? <laughs> I don't know. We could do sunrise chats. <laughs> It would just be a screen though. I wouldn't be able to have anything um, complex. Cooking, crafts. Jared Gaines wasn't sure what he was expecting when he discovered a burnt out truck on his back 40 this morning. I'm writing down. We need to do the, the members, the, the streamathon thing. It was apparent that the truck was damaged from a distance, but closer inspection led Gaines to find I need to do a birthday stream. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. It's in two weeks. I'm going to... It's going to be the wrong day. 
if I stream from my phone, I won't be able to have like an elaborate setup like everyone else does because they send it to their computer and then it goes back. Do we have a leather face? We do. Go from here is right near me. He can see me, he can squeeze me. Do you know what I mean? Oh, fuck me. Whoa, where did that come from my speaker? Did it? Or am I crazy? Holy shit, did he just let me go? Is Dean here? Hey, Deanie. Are we in Nancy's house? I have no idea where I am. We must be in Nancy's house. Hey, Deanie. This is actually really scary. I'm scared, guys. Also, is there anything we can play that we can fuck around with my heart rate monitor? That's a question. Look at disturbing images. I don't know. <gasps> Was that me? Stay still, bitch. If you want to go through, go through. You don't have to teabag me, you fucking... Stop it! Why is he moving like that? Don't scream gimmick. Is it good? And is it available on whatever I have? Oh shit. Duck bitch. How close is that thing to me? I can hear it. Should I start kicking it? Someone else ran out, that's perfect. <laughs> I think I'll just sit here for a second, guys. I'm not someone else fuck around up there. Reset. Fuck me. I thought I didn't know it was reset. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I deserve that. I deserve that. <laughs> I deserve that. I deserve that. I think that they got to turn off the thing though. Cause I was the distraction, girly. <laughs> it was it was all right that I let myself. I don't think I'm leveling up at all, by the way. Let's try play one more. Do an art channel. <laughs> yeah, well, why don't I just make 20 channels, guys? The forest would be interesting since you can have fun building your base and exploring it. What's the forest? Is that a game? I had one as my desktop. By the way, Dean, your desktop wallpaper won't stop. Yeah, it's been lit up all day. What's going on there? I don't know what's going on with your desktop wallpaper.
Emma's drawings? Oh, that's so sweet of you. Yeah, I do goofy drawings. I haven't- I don't do them anymore, though. Yeah, if you guys can figure out anything like that. But we should do- what else could we do? Lunch time. I'm starving too. I'm gonna play one more game and then I'm gonna go grab some food. Love you, Deanie. I'll find one of my drawings now. I think they're on my old Instagram. Let's see if I can find it. It's not like I have a hidden Instagram, but I used to have like a personal Instagram and then I just became spooky astronauts, I guess. And I stopped using it. I don't even know if I have the login anymore. Personal belongings linked to a missing Tulsa, Oklahoma. If I can find it. Okay, I found it. Last week. Police say Tim I have my abandoned Tyler one. Divine. Do you guys want to see it? My photography is while on a in trip there. Texas you guys want to see my photography? I miss doing photography. This is my old Instagram. Oh my photography. But I'm sure I have pocketbook containing IDs matching a the husband and wife folks were and found photos. scattered. I, when I a lot of this is from my time when I worked in TV. Oh shit. A lot of yeah. A lot of photos you probably like a side of me you probably haven't seen for sure. It actually looks very aesthetically pleasing now if I do say so myself. Is there a Oh god, there's a lot of face. We're in Nancy's again, right? Uh, wait. Maybe through here? Uh, this will help. Anything Trying to find... Gotta stay. You're gonna get out, okay? Where the damn... Will, Julie. Toolbox. Where is a toolbox? Hello! Sniping! Thank you so much! Oop. Welcome, we love new- we love fresh meat. Welcome, new friend. To our little tiny club. Kate, how are you doing? Are you staying awake? I'll let you sleep soon. <laughs> Guys, oh fuck. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Can he go away? <sighs> We're playing Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Ooh, and someone is dying. I'm trying to get a fucking key and I can't because I'm so annoying. And I swear he keeps getting closer to me, but I, I'm so scared. Oh my god, it was sissy. I'm just gonna it's hide quiet. with Danny. Too quiet. Danny, you open it. Hey. Oh my god. Are you hurt? Shh, Julie. Shh. Danny, Danny? <laughs> oh my god! Who let me be the last victim standing? That is not fair, girlfriend. That is 
That is so unfair. Oh, fuck me. Where am I? Guys, this is so unfair. Guys, my heart. Daylight, whatever the hell makes me do that. They kept yanking me down. They kept pulling me in. Oh shit. They weren't playing. But I was. <laughs> Just a goofy little goose. Anyway. It is exactly time to kind of wrap this up, guys. So I can actually get some, <laughs> some video work done. Um, but I want to thank you guys all so much for being here. As always, hear me out. A horror game set in the 70s, 80s where you play as a failed priest trying to exercise a possessed girl. Oh my god. Wait, what is that? That's a game? Or are you making it up? What is it? What is that? What is that? It's real? What's it called? Faith. But you got you guys... You my issue is that you guys sell me down a river because you s tell me about these amazing games and I can't play it. Faith, the unholy. Is it on PlayStation? Oh, it's an old school game. What? 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 Where? I'm trying to figure out where I can play this. Oh, PlayStation. I should be able to play it then. I want to play. That sounds fun. What's it called? A Unholy Trilogy. Guys, you're going to start me off a watch list of games. Holy Trill. Unholy Trill? Love it. <laughs> we already got a nickname. Um. Yeah, I was trying to find a photo of me. Oh my god, this this is such a trip down memory lane. All these pictures from that thing I sent, the link I sent. You can see my old teeth in there. Like me getting my tattoos done and everything. My god. I'm trying to find a picture. I swear it's in there. Oh my god. There's pictures of a lot of people I don't talk to anymore. Oh my god, girly. Uh, maybe I, I need to delete this. Why did I post that? This is so wild. <laughs> There's some really scary photos in here. And you can see when I started my um, YouTube channel. And I also have one of me in Facetune that's so scary. <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to find a picture of a picture, you know what I mean? Oh my god. Okay, where is it? Oh my god. I was in my freely banana girl phase too. Can I find a picture of a photo? I have a photo, random photo of Emma Roberts in there. Um, I thought there was drawings in here. No. This is me in my early 20s. I forgot this phase of my life happened. I am scrolling hardcore, guys. This is insane. Let's go to the reactions for a sec. So I can put this in so I'm not just like scrolling without any context. Where is it? Hopefully it comes up, yeah. <laughs> it was a scroll, scroll. This is me when I was in Vietnam. Um, oh my god. <laughs> Do I look exactly the same? Hopefully. I'm still subscribed on a YouTube. Not freely. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. Here's some drawings. <laughs> I mean, it's just silly drawings. 
Oh my God, this is so wild. What does that shirt say? Sober? Lying? Oh my God, girl. What the fuck does that mean? That's really weird. Oh my God, I look so different. Is that it? Oh yeah, there's, oh my God, look, a football star. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> what? Oh my God, yeah, there's this picture of Dean. Jellyfish. <laughs> Cult. <laughs> Oh my god, I look so different. Okay, here we, here's the drawings. I knew there was drawings here. So the girl with pearl earring. Godzilla. <laughs> I think I was doing a drawing <laughs> challenge. This is the one I like. I like these ones. That's. I think that's probably kind of it. This is just throwing me off. This whole thing. There, this one's cute. Oh my god, I mean, you should get back into some stuff. Oh my god. Do you know how long ago this was? This, I liked this picture heaps. Oh, there's my old dog, Hank. Like a family dog. This is so wild. This is us in Bali. We're babies. Look how young we are. <laughs> That's disgusting. Look, I have an age today, right? Girly pops, get it together. <laughs> the British. <laughs> oh my god, I think that's like when they had gay marriage was first like introduced in Australia. Introduced was first allowed. First allowed, first legalized. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> okay. I was unhinged online back in the day. I think that was the first drawings. I I'm like, how far back does this go? Does it stop? Someone stop me. <laughs> Someone stop this girl. Delete this account. How far back does it go? Jesus Christ. Oh my God, it does not stop. Are we ever going to stop? Wow, girly. Does the internet even exist back now? There is no way that this keeps going back. Sorry, this is, I can't even, I <laughs> lolled. This is so wild. <laughs> this photo of Dean is so funny to me. <laughs> that is the concert we went to together, one of the first. So this has to stop soon. Someone stop me. Oh shit, this is, this is, okay, now I'm getting into like teenage territory, surely. Oh my god, who are they? That's Dean without any beard, guys. <laughs> is that so wild? I need to send that photo to him. Will it ever stop? Oh, there's Dean's one tattoo, guys. <laughs> Why did I put that photo up? He's got fucking tequila in the background. <laughs> it's disgusting. Oh, my God. Look. Look how different he looks, guys. That's Dean. Oh, that's Stevie. You guys know when Stevie came? Screen Stevie came into the chat the other day? That's me and Stevie. Oh, my God. This is so strange. The, the bizarreness of just, like, the quiet, too. <laughs> that photo is so funny. Um, there you go. That's who I met, and then I woke up and he had a beard. That's not him. That's my friend, Sam. That's me. Oh, my God. That's me when I was 20, 21 in, guess where? <laughs> in Rome. <laughs> With my cracked out teeth. Who is she? We'll never know. My hair looked so fucking good there. Who's who's that? Who that girl? Who that? Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Okay. Girl, is it ever going to stop? Okay, now we're pre Dean era. My oh my okay, I need to get off this page. <laughs> That photo is not okay. <laughs> Girly. I'm about to do something very problematic, I feel like. <laughs> I need to stop. <laughs> Guys, I don't know who this is. I, this is, I, I love this trauma, Beavis and Butt Head trauma, trauma, PTSD, trauma, generational <laughs> it trauma. It really is. Trauma. Trauma. <laughs> rage and trauma. Rage and trauma. I love that PTSD. bag so much. PTSD. Trauma. This shirt was sick. Stress. It's a Beavis and Butthead shirt. I thought it was the coolest thing fucking ever. This is before I. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Yeah. I, I can't be. Okay. That's that's my my best friend Jean, who I grew up with. Okay. And that's my cat Aslan. Okay. Cool. Yep. Girly, get that bath photo. You can tell by the the quality. Oh my god, that's Joshy. Okay, anyway. <sighs> okay, deep sigh of relief. Oh my god, I didn't have my heart rate on that, but it would have been so funny watching my... Look at this lovely photo. Guys, this is what people used to post back in the day. A fucking half-eaten, like, burrito. Nothing ever beats Mexican. <laughs> you guys think I'm cringe now? Jesus Christ, girly pops. It's wild. Who is she? This is Tumblr era, by the way. If you don't know what Tumblr era is, girlie's going to be dressing like this again soon, okay? Um, we don't post stuff like that anymore. And we used to be so real. I need to... <laughs> I need to figure out my hair. My hair, like, the haircut looks great. But anyway. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it would have been from, so that was my friend Jess, is my friend Jess. She went to film school with me and I don't know what, oh, maybe we, we bought, we did a house deposit. Maybe that's what it is. Cause this is very. <laughs> <laughs> this is so inappropriate. <laughs> me at work, hardly working, obvi. Oh, yeah, you guys wouldn't recognize that money. Oh, yum. Delicious. Me and Patty. God, this is embarrassing. Oh, this is me in um, Switzerland. Flashback Friday. <laughs> Shut up. It's so wrong. Oh, my God. Is that my, hu my husband passed out? I need to find the login and delete this. This is not okay. For all intents and purposes, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I can't tell. Anyway, we should definitely get off this. That's me and Stevie again. And then look, I had a fringe before, guys. No one freak out. Okay. Anyway, I need help. <laughs> I need him. I need some help. See, yeah, you can't look at those photos. That's not good. Um, I need help. <sighs> this is wild. Okay, that was fun. I, how did we get there? I was trying to find a photo of a of a of a drawing I made, but that was really a lot. That was a lot. Oh, I, I'm like, what is that sound? It is literally Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That was a lot, girly. Anyway, Radiohead ticket. Yes, that was when Dean and I went and saw Radiohead. Um, and when I screenshot a post, and where is it? I mean, I gave you the link to it. You can do what you want. There's nothing on there that that's that bad. I don't like that photo of Dean passed out, though. I don't think that's very appropriate at all. But, girly, it was a different time. It was a different time. Um, and a different place. And it was very Tumblr. We've bonded, like, in a way we've never before. Yeah. I was supposed to be seeing them, but cancelled the concert. Oh, my God. Um, which tour was it? I don't It was in Australia. We've seen them here, and then we saw Tom York in... Um, uh, what is it? Where Eric's from? Portland. 
Stalk away, my friend. I've stalked you, don't worry. <laughs> anyway, guys. Love you. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I can really see my age now. And I am no wiser. Um, we gotta send you our embarrassing photo. Yeah, you have to. We should do that. We should do a reacting to embarrassing photos. But how would I get them? The other Portland. There's two Portlands? Um, exposing Emma's past part one. Emma graduated from the University of Servington with a master's degree. I wish. But I actually, that's like such a compliment coming from you. So I'll take it. Oh, there's two Portlands. Okay. Oregon. That's where I got, so I got engaged on the day that we went and saw Radiohead for the second time. And we went and saw Radiohead, well not Radiohead, I know it was Tom York. But we went and saw Radiohead um, like two months after Dean and I got together. So it was kind of like a full month, full month, full circle moment. Especially since we got engaged like 10 years, well we got married 10 years into our relationship. So yeah. I thought Maine was just Maine. Do you know what I mean? I thought Maine was a city. Can't believe Radiohead wrote No Surprises Just For You. <laughs> um, uh, it was... No, it was York with other people. It was basically Radiohead. They, they sang all like Radiohead stuff. And then some of his stuff. I don't know. There's a, b a bunch of stuff. Honestly, I can't even remember that much. It was very exciting though. But I love our little um, Texas Chainsaw like singing in the background. I do need to go eat and figure out what I'm doing with my life, let alone this week on my channel. But I thank you all so much for being here and hanging out with me. You guys are the best. And we will, uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow, same time for um, Name That Film, a little quizzy chatty. And yeah, I'll put out something to my VOD friends asking what, what I should, can I rebrand? Am I allowed to? I don't know. I mean, I figure if everyone's sub there and they're watching me talk for a long time and they they might be okay with other things I do because that's dedication already. <laughs> You're the best. Thank you so much for having us. Um, And I love you guys. Lana Del Rey could make no surprises, but Tom York could never do it. <laughs> A&W was my no number one played last year, I think. Uh, my... Ah! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Oh, ow! I hit my knee so hard. Just let me have a second. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, I just really hurt my knee. Oh, my internet signal is disappearing, but I'll probably sign. Yes, let's all do it. Ow, that really fucking hurt. Ow. Okay. Yeah, let's see who we can raid. I might have to head off pretty quickly though. Oh yeah, Sass is on, so let's raid. She's pl she's playing a game. Okay, I love you guys and have a great day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, same time for Name That Film. So make sure you study up. Love you guys. Getting ready to raid. 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 Four, three, two, one. Let me press the button now. Ha, ha, ha.